Hello, hello, hello. What's up? Hey, Joe. What is going on, Alan? What's good? Hey, Wit. How are you? Welcome to the stream, y'all. Good evening. Morning. Whatever this is to you. About five hours from now across the pond where Joe Arcade when this is. It's Red Dead time, y'all. It is. I'm excited. Ready to play. It's been, uh, 12 hours. Something like that? I don't know. Not even. Not even. So, yeah, 30 and a half hours in the game so far. First playthrough ever. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Make sure you smash that like button on your way in. It really, really does appreciate. It really does help the stream and me, and I really appreciate it. There we go. I'm going to learn how to talk eventually tonight. It's going to be great. I haven't had any coffee today whatsoever. You're at the front door, eat at the back, and I'm sitting in the rocking chair. Wait for a teeny boot on the moon and his hot air balloon. Holy cow. Yes, that's true. We've had no coffee today. And, well, actually, that's not. We have coffee. We have coffee in a box. I got coffee in a box. Do da, do da. We're going to open it later on. All do da day. Coffee in a box. La Prima Coffee. Hashtag not sponsored at all. Bought it with my own money. Roasted in Pittsburgh. La Prima Espresso Company. This is the espresso sampler box. So, excited. See what's in there. It was recommended to me by JJ General One Arcade. Don't forget the one. Ever. <laughs> no coffee. Something is wrong. I know. I know. So, I went to bed late. Woke up at uh, 5.15 this afternoon, proceeded to talk to my dad after he woke me up, grabbed a Coca-Cola, ran to Costco. Went on out to Costco, bought myself a Casper mattress, a Casper pillow, and another case of Coca-Cola. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I got the mattress home. Got it unboxed, got it put into the uh, into the room over there. I got a sheet over it now. I'm going to go shopping for some sheets and uh, coverings and stuff tomorrow. It still doesn't have a frame or anything. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Um, uh, the one that I really like is uh, Ikea, but it's not in stock. So there's that, and that sucks. Um, so I'm going to investigate my options. I know Wayfair's out there. I know Amazon's out there. I know there are many other options, but currently it's sitting on the floor, and I'm okay with that. I can go in there, just collapse into it. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> it's a very comfortable mattress. Uh, Sean just uh, started a new game in our Red Dead, so I'm beginning from the start again. You're in Chapter 5 already. Jeez, man. <laughs> Well, that's awesome for you. I'm glad that uh, you're uh, you're enjoying a second playthrough as well. Um, yeah, I'm just taking my time. I'm just a filthy casual. <laughs> just a filthy casual. You know how it is. Anyway, let's get going here. Let's boot up the game so we can get ourselves into this evening. Again, welcome everybody. My name's Sean. This is Backseat Girl Productions. And I like to live stream on YouTube Wednesday through Sunday, if I can, sometime around... 
8 p.m. That, oh, 8.30 p.m. But that's, like, so subject to change, like, 9.30, 11, 7. Doesn't, you know, sometime in the nighttime, because the nighttime is the right time for me. And on Tuesdays, I like to stream on Twitch. I play that virtual reality game, Beat Saber. And I invite you all to come over there and check it out. It's a real hot topic, and I, uh, I really think a lot of you will enjoy it. If you don't know what it is, it's Guitar Hero with lightsabers. I mean... What more cool could you get? And you don't see it in the first person view on my channel. You actually see me superimposed into the game. It's a really cool setup. So please come stop by on Tuesday. Um, yeah, you know, when you had played the game, you just wanted to get done fast. Yeah. Oh, I understand that. Yeah, I'm the same way with other games. I, I want to go back, play specific parts because they're so much fun. Yep. Mm-hmm. So how's everybody doing tonight? Like I said, I went to Costco today. I picked up a mattress. I picked up a pillow. And uh, the fiend is here. Hello, hello. Um, how are you? Hope you're doing great. I uh, got my coffee in the mail. And um, yeah, unboxed the mattress. I got to use my truck today. That makes me happy. What's up with this game? Come on, game. You who? Any day now. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> you can. I mean, I shouldn't have turned off the music if this is the way it's going to be. Maybe if I turn the music back on, it'll, it'll come to life. See? See? That's all it took. All it took is me turning the music on. And, uh, <clears throat> yep. No, me and the truck. Yep. A uh, bad thing. It's only afternoon in my country. At mine is 4 a.m. Oh my goodness! Wow. Yikes. Let's see, 4 a.m. That must be 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's seven hours. So Germany-ish, maybe. Russia. Just curious. You don't have to answer if you don't want to. Um, let's get back into the game. Yeah, it's currently 9.07 p.m. where I'm at. And we're going to continue on with our story, y'all. I got my USB sensor over here attached to my microphone arm. So... Denmark! Ah! Gotcha! Denmark! So, north! Gotcha! That would explain the time zone difference for sure. Got to put that one in the old log now. Denmark is seven hours ahead of us. <laughs> Australia is like a day <laughs> and four or five hours. All right. Uh, feeling better every day. Looking forward to getting back to regularly scheduled streaming and stuff soon, says Fantastic Wit. That's awesome. Glad to hear that you're feeling better. Glad that, um, yeah. You'll get going again. That's just awesome. Uh, I live in uh, the United States, uh, in the southern portion in a state called Tennessee. It is pretty much dead center in the southeastern portion of the United States, um, and above the uh, the hurricane lines and all that stuff. Um, Fane says, went to the post office today and sent mail out to me and some other special people. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much, Fiend. I'll be sure and check that P.O. box. Um, see, it's Friday, so probably Monday, Tuesday. Probably Tuesday, I'll check that P.O. box, and, uh, it ought to be there by then, hopefully. Um, <clears throat> so... We got stuff to do. They're hinting at block variations now too on social media. Uh, you know, I did actually see that. Um, uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, see, I'm trying to figure out. Let me turn this camera off. There's this little dot right here. This is like, I I, I approach this little dot. It's like I'm supposed to do something. Interact with this little gray dot. This picture here. I, I, I don't want to shave. I, I can't interact with anything on this table. Really? I mean, I can inspect. Hold on, what am, what am, I, what am I inspecting? No, I didn't want to call my horse. Your horse is hitched, okay, yeah, so... Arthur's horseshoe.
Arthur's father. Hey, it looks like we got the same hat. My dog. Okay. These are all of us. Oh, that's great. But I got this little dot over here, and I have no idea what this little dot on my map is. A little gray dot. Anyway. See what we got to do here. I guess I'm going to load up on munitions first. Yeah, that little cute pup. You know, we're just going to take everything. Fireball. Memorial pick of Arthur's mom. Oh, okay. Okay. That makes sense. Thank you for letting me know. Alright, we are pretty well stocked up on her thing. Hello, Miss Grimshaw. Hi there. Hi there, what what's up? You, we're gonna give you something, lady. Hello. There's those herbs you asked for. There's them herbs you asked for. Thank you. I'll slip these in Pearson's pot when he's not looking. Hey, she's gonna go season that stew, you know. Alright, I don't think that we need anything from the medicine cabinet over here. Oh, we'll, we'll take the miracle tonic, though. Right there. Yes? Who said my name? Rascal, you rabbit. Was it you, old man? You want me to go take care of your... I told Dutch, I feel I should tell you. I saw some of Combs boys riding around. Down here, what they want? I have no idea. They see you? Oh, oh think so. you. Okay, well... Thanks for letting me know, Kieran. Mm-hmm. Misfits and Dreamers, Bob and Bonnie and Buddy are in the room. <laughs> Hello. How are you? I hope you're doing well today. How's things, man? Yeah. Uh, stop that. You know, this ain't such a bad spot we got here, all things considered. Yeah, it's not too bad at all. Buying or having some horse reviver on me. Let me see if I have any of that. That's a great idea. So we're going to have Stimulant Reviver. I've got three horse revivers. Alright. Three horse revivers. Now I've got medicine. More medicine. I've got a lot of horse stuff here. Potent health cure. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Bob. Oh, oh are y'all okay? Man, much hugs and love and thoughts and prayers, dude. Uh, da -da. I need people medicine to Yeah, let's let's drink that. That'll give us a full Full stimulant thing, right? I need to eat something as well. That'll help. Um. Yeah, I'll eat a peach. That's fine. And then I'll do one more here. I just need something to help with. Let's see. Yeah, the chocolate bar will be good. Alright. Good deal. Don't let it go cold. Come along. So what should we do? Let's check out our map and see what kind of stuff we can get into. So we got to go see Bill. 
uh, they're meeting at the saloon about a job. Uh, what else can we do, though? That's not all. We can go see Black Bell over here in the mysterious wherever that is. Uh, we can go do bounty hunting. We can go fishing. Or we can go see Flaco Hernandez. I want to go see Flaco Hernandez. I've been wanting to go see Flaco Hernandez. So, I think that's what I should do. Now, we can do this a couple of different ways. We can ride the entire way. Or we can probably fast travel to right here. So, we're going to we're going to travel up to Valentine. Ooh, but that's straight through Valentine. I don't want to go through Valentine. I'm not really welcomed in Valentine too much at the moment. So, no, maybe I'm not welcoming Strawberry. Valentine might be all right. All right, so let's try to go to Valentine. Let's go to Valentine. Zero! What's up, buddy? How are you, friend? Hope you're doing well, having a great day. I know I am. Alright, let's go to Valentine. And while we're at it, I'm gonna go ahead and get my chair adjusted. Oh, I gotta get the tilt back, you know. Gotta get that tilt back. So I can just relax up in here, play my game. I see you far in the distance. You gonna watch tonight? Any problems? Oh no, Joe. I'm so sorry, man. Be here, but I hope you enjoy watching in the background. Yeah. It's gonna be fun tonight. All right. Here we are. So. I reckon we're going to go up this way. Evening. All right. Whoopsies. Oh. Not supposed to go there. Sorry. Didn't mean to get into your farm there. All right. We're on our way to go and see this dude. Take his picture. We have our winter clothing on our horse, so that'll be good. Yeah. Don't have to worry about that. We have our tent, so we can camp. Why is it getting to be nighttime? Is it nighttime? Or is it daytime? Ooh, there's a nice river down here. Is it really getting to be nighttime? Let's, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's set up camp. Two dollars. How much is that? Twenty-eight hundred dollars. That's a lot. That's a lot. Morning. Let's wait until morning. We're going to be going into cold areas. I don't want to deal with any, like, random wolf encounters, you know. Alright. Let's tear it down, boy. After the robbery. All right, Chalupa Spew. 
We can go foraging for herbs later. But for now, you and me gotta hit the trail, buddy. We're headed on down. See our friend, whose name has escaped me. Whoa, horsey. Go over there. Where are we going? We got to go all the way around this way. Holy cow. That was almost not good. Which way are we going? Are we going down the hill? I know, horse, you're just as confused as I am. I'm sorry. It looks like this is the way that we're going. Let's go. Ooh, the horse was helpful. Look at all this. Ain't this pretty? So, uh, I mean, that's pretty cool. You don't like to look at the camera, do you, there, buddy? I'm not gonna stream a while. Yeah. Many hours. Pretty much guarantee you at least like three more, but probably more than that. I might take a bit of a food break at some point in time. Especially if I do like another 10 hour stream. But, uh, yeah. Contingency plan for that, too, sort of. Alright, it doesn't seem to be getting cold or anything, so that's good. Really late, you won't sleep today. Uh, doing an all nighter. Aw, oh, dude, I hear ya. Hang out if uh, you can hang out as much as uh, you want to. And all right, it's starting to get a little cold. Okay. So let's change outfits here. Um. Maybe I have to do it while I'm on the horse. Items. Horse. There we go. Winter gunslinger. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to try to start early tomorrow or not. I don't really know what the plan is. It really depends on how much, or when I end tonight, as to what time I start tomorrow for looking at things objectively. I have to have a certain number of hours off in between the streams. It's just, that's me time. <laughs> Jenna. <laughs> Character first thinks it's cold. It's completely so it's better put on the cloth to repair when you get there. Ah, oh, good to know. Good to know. So it would be getting like winter now. Like he'd be starting to feel cold now, I guess. What about my horse? You're probably in about sunrise. What's up, beauty? How you doing, bruh? 
Good to see you. Good to see you. Hope all is well. Having a great night. How's the weather up there, man? Ain't bad down here. Whoa, big elk. Let's not disturb the elk. Y'all ever seen an elk in real life? Or a moose? I guess that was an elk. Is that an elk or a moose? I, I know I did not want to piss that thing off. That's for sure. Isn't there a road? A trail I'm supposed to be heading on here? Uh, I guess not. Uh, okay, baby. Okay, boy. I know the road is not the most pleasant right now. It's winter time. Um, I'm trying to make it pleasant for you here, buddy. Alright, see, we found a little bit of a trail here. We can follow it. See, somebody's been coming in and out of here. We can see the tracks. You know. Nine degree, negative nine wind chill. Oh my goodness. Oh, 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 spewage. Oh, you can't make that. You can't make that, girl. Boy, whatever you are. Come on down here. Okay. Yeah, come on back up this hill. Well, oh. gotta go up this way. Yep. Oh, it's kind of dangerous. It's kind of treacherous. We're gonna be all right though. We just have to ride up the side of this mountain in in the winter on snow with no rails. It's okay. Everything is fine. Totally fine. Wind gust of 50. Right now it's not bad. It's supposed to get wicked on Sunday. I hadn't even looked at hours. I hear that we're under winter storm watch or something like that, but uh, the thing about it is it's all like west of me. Alright, Chalupa Spew. You got this. You can do it. Ooh. Kind of a treacherous ride through here. Nasty there on Monday. Oof. I need to go out tomorrow and pick up some bedding and stuff. This new bed. I am good on groceries. I've got milk. I know how to make bread. I have flour and yeast and all that. So I can make all the milk bread sandwiches that I want. That's a joke for those of you that don't live in the United or in the United States or in the South. Um, whenever it uh, starts to uh, hint of any kind of inclement winter weather, Everybody flocks to the local grocery stores and picks up milk and bread and toilet paper. For some reason, I don't know why, they seem to want to eat milk sandwiches. I prefer to stock up on normal, everyday household items such as canned goods, meat, dairy, cheese, flour, milk, butter, eggs. Sure, those are the normal things. If I need bread, alright, if I don't need any more bread... I'm not going to get snowed in for a week. It's going to be 90 degrees next Tuesday. It's Memphis. <laughs> I mean, I <laughs> uh, didn't have any bread here. I didn't even look. Um, honestly, like, my thing is I can make bread. Um, I know some people can't, and that's okay, too. Some people don't want to, and that's okay, too. But uh, I'm just not a big bread eater. So if I want bread, it's like a special occasion. I'm either going to make it, or it's going to be like a purpose trip to the grocery store to get bread. Sugar sandwich? I don't know that I have. Um, I'm headed to get the white horse. I'm headed to take that dude's picture. And if I'm up here and the white horse thing happens, then awesome. So after I take a picture of this dude, then uh, maybe... 
uh, maybe one of y'all can help guide me to the uh, the white horse. That would be awesome. Yeah. Those stupid survive on junk food, man. See, that's that's my thing. I've got ramen noodles. I've got Velveeta shells and cheese. I've got Kraft mac and cheese. I've got. Like I said, ramen noodles, spaghetti, I've got cans of tomato sauce, I've got a chest freezer full of frozen whatever the hell, I've got meat chicken, I oh, know, meat chicken, I've got meat chicken, no, um, pasta, TV dinners, chips, we're stocked up, we got potatoes, Blake could survive down here, we have potatoes. I don't know why my screen just uh glitched out. It would be easier if you could talk so I can show, but I'll just write in the chat. All right, um, we might could arrange that actually on my Discord. I see you over there. You don't cook, okay. You can microwave though. Right. Hey, who's that? You're in the wrong camp, stranger. Let's diffuse. I don't mean no harm, okay? Just want to speak to Hernandez. We don't like visitors up here. Kill this fool. Ouch. Microwave and air fry. There you go. Okay. I guess my horse is gone. Goes inside. Hey, who's that? You're in the wrong. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. Gotta hide on something. I need medicine. Snake oil. Uh, health. Health. Potent health cure. Where are they? Jesus. Stop. more medicine here. flooded in your old house and had absolutely nothing to eat for three days except a couple of spoons of peanut butter and tiny packets of peanuts that McDonald's gives you with a Sunday. Oh my goodness, bro. Going to my house when the zombie apocalypse. Join chat, but I can't talk. Um, don't have phone number. Okay. Talk to me. Um... 
Blacko Hernandez, you in there? Done with the mission. I didn't want so trouble, up. but I'm just here to speak with you about Boy Calloway. I'm unarmed. <laughs> well, King Gallo. I just want to talk about Boy Calloway. Sure. Here's your message. Oh, I was trying to do something. I didn't know I had a quick time event on my hands. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's cutscene. Oh, here we go. I, I don't understand these. I do have permissions for... You just let go of it and it shoots? I do have permissions for phone number set up. doesn't let me shoot it doesn't Dude, how many times do you have to hit the stupid thing man like Him, but all right, mission complete. Let's loot this place, man. Get up out of here. Man. Okay, is there anything that we could possibly need? Uh, let me tell you where to get the good horse if it's... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, feller. Let's, uh... Drop... I don't... What? I don't want to drop the pistol. Where's my horse? Let me store my pistol on my horse. I hope I can store my my pistol on my horse. Um, back horse weapons is left bumper. All right, cattleman, Granger. I can get a cattleman's revolver anywhere. Right? Midnight's pistol. I want that. I want to keep the sawed off. I want to keep Granger's. So. I want this to be. Cattleman's revolver. Dang it. Sold off. Cattleman. Now, drop the cattleman's revolver for Flacco's revolver. Alright, now, we're good. Let me take a look at it. Let 
a rare cattleman revolver. All right, good, good. I did the right thing. Good, good, good. <clears throat> I've already looted that place, so I'm going to loot the rest of this place. But I'm also going to go ahead and do some equipping here. that out. I don't need that out. I uh, need uh, a rifle. Uh, I don't need that. I don't. Thank you. I just want to loot these boys over here. Y'all got potent health cure. That's good. I used uh, I used uh, a couple of those. Eighty three whole cents. Okay. What got in here or anything? Hey, good night, Bob. Have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. And, uh, so much love. We're thinking about you, man. Bitters and stuff off of them. It's not bad. A campfire going on. I can't walk around whatever's covered in mud there, apparently. Or not mud, snow. I see a bag. I see a bag over here. Anything? No, nothing. Alright, well, I guess we're done at camp. Okay, so there's a wild mystical horse up there. I see. Try to look at the stats on my horse. Alright. So it's level four bonding overview. All right, here we go. Physique, riding, Tennessee Walker, bonding, health. It's like, okay, cleanliness, clean. Yeah. So the overview is handling standard acceleration for speed four, I think. All right. So now I guess I just have to go north of this area. Not that type of stats. Okay. Um. Then I should go where uh, stats, show info. This? Yeah. Speed 4, acceleration 4, handling, standard, coat, chestnut. Uh, let's get you looking nice. We're gonna go meet another horse, you see. Yeah. You all right there, boy? 
All right, let's go meet this other horse I see on this map. Temporary horses. Oh, temporary horses down there. All right, Lake Isabella. straightforward but we'll see or I mean yeah if that's gonna be helpful then sure This game is a journey. He knows what the world will be. I'll give me a may or may not ever get a masterpiece like this. It's very true. Very true. What's up, man? Good to see you, cowboy. How are you feeling, Stu? Hey, you're not hurt too bad at all. Let's go, boy. Two wolves and four trees were burning in the making of this clip. <laughs> so true. So true. Wait, well, I want my pelt. Give me that. Give me it. Please. Thank you. I need to store it on my horse. I need the other one. Oh yeah, destroy all humans. <laughs> That's fun. The final boss is totally overpowered. But that's okay. Mm. All right, let's see. What time is it? Game time five. Is that 5 a.m.? 5 p.m.? I can't tell. No. It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Never mind. Boy. Pretty sure that was the final boss, yeah. I looked it up later and 
figured out that you had to go through and upgrade this one particular weapon and then your one particular weapon sends back all of the waves of uh, things that they shoot at you, all the bombs, and that's how you, uh, that's how you do it. Alright, let's make this happen then. Um, let's see, let's go to new mentions, let's go to the welcome screen. Alright, so we're gonna give you a roll here. Alright, so now, will that allow you to join voice chat now that I gave you a roll? Press the down arrow one time to see the clock. Oh, well, ain't that special? Isn't that special? All right, that's good. All right, so I gave you a roll on the Discord. So now you're in voice chat. All right, let me get in there. Yo. Hello. What's up, bro? Not much. How's it going? Things going good. What about you? Oh, going good. You know. <clears throat> The horse is not that hard to get, but when when it's the first time, it's hard. Awesome. Sorry for my bad English. So. It's all good, man. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. game occasionally I destroy humans record is like an hour and eight minutes oh dude that's cool but yeah you got to um, get this shield thing and then you just deflect all the bombs right back to the uh, the boss in it so yeah, yeah that's how you beat the thing I'm 24 Fahrenheit I'm just following this white rabbit everywhere. Easy boy. <laughs> so you're new to the game? Yep, brand new. Just bought it, um, I think on the 9th or the 8th or something like that. <laughs> really, I, I bought it as a backup just in case Cyberpunk didn't work out, and I never played Cyberpunk. <laughs> yes. How long have you been playing? Since, since the release of the game. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've finished the game so many times, but... It took me so long. How many hours did it take you? The first time, I think, more than. Finish the game completely, maybe a week or more. Okay. But it takes a week or more if you just only do the missions. <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> All right, so I am at the lake now. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, go to map. Yeah, and to the other side of you, there's like a little road, as you can see, on the other side of the lake. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, there, right there, right there. Right there. Just go there. And then you'll see a right white horse. Alrighty. I tried to get into Skyrim. It was too much for me. Red Dead is just just simple enough. Uh, so far, anyway, I don't know if the inventory management system gets any more crazy, but there's no magic, there's no spells, there's no craft. I mean, there's crafting, but I don't know. Skyrim was just way too Dungeons and Dragons for me. And that's not a bad thing. It's just too complicated for my liking. I like somewhat brainless entertainment, which this is a lot of it, riding through the desert. But I also like to have, you know, some challenge to the game as well. Just didn't didn't suit me very well. This on the other hand. <laughs> Play this literally all day. Be fine. You know, the thing I love by Red Dead is the graphics and the details in this game. It's so pretty. You are correct there. I'm not an Xbox person either, um, so I never got to experience it until it came out on PC anyway. In fact, I last Xbox I owned was an Xbox One, I think. I hadn't had that thing in a long time. Oh yeah, now you can see, uh, you know, the, f the fog of the snow, the snowstorm. It means that you are really close to the horse. Right. But the horse is white, so it's really hard to see the horse. And have to that's already to that's it, to catch it. You can't sweet talk it, you have to lasso it. Yeah. Legendary animal. Alright. Inspecting clues. Hunting and inspecting clues. Yeah, is that the horse? Maybe a little bit forward? Save state. Just in case I mess this up. <laughs> oh yeah. There's a legendary bear. So it's smart. Oh great, legendary bear. New aim dot and arcade redemption. Oh, for wit. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Idiot. It's fun that the horse isn't there because it always spawns there, but it can also be around the lake. Okay. Horsey, where are you? Said to search for clues. Yep. 
Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. You see it? Yep, straight ahead. Oh, there it is. So, just approach slowly, I guess. Yeah, and crouch over to the horse. Um, but go around the horse, not in front of it. So get off my horse. And I don't know, maybe have your horse ready because they could run really fast at home. Oh, oh, oh. You can also run to the horse and lasso it with the with the horse. Approach it slowly, and if it begins to run, chase it. Got it. You'll be all right. Nice. Easy. First time, every time. Whoa. And just calm it and. You know, make your way on the horse. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Uh oh. Well, come here. It's a wild, really wild horse because it's lived in the, lived in the snow and so so long time. Let's see. Let's go get this horse again. It ran this way. You said the um, press the two win. Um, oh, you want Xbox controller, right? Yes. Oh, because I'm uh, okay. I'm PS4, but but the two buttons, you know, the way you move and the way you look, press that down. You can see where it runs. Well, yeah. There it is. Hey, you got it. Yeah. It's, you know, if I react, react late, it's because the stream delay, that's fine. Hey, stop. I'm Why won't you come back? <laughs> I love how your game is glitch. Okay, we. Oh, oh, got bucked off yeah, again. Yeah. Hey, come back. <sighs> yeah, it's hard to get the holes first time. Mm. I got on it. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, press the, um, you know, the two buttons where you walk and where you look, and then you can see it. You can see the country of it. Huh. Yeah, you know the path of it behind yeah. you? I'm not seeing the path. Hadn't gone this far, has it? No, oh, those are footprints. There it is. Right. There. And if you're about to fall to the right side, flick your yes, stick um, to the left side. Don't fall off. Horse? He keeps running away. Oh. Yeah. It's hard to get it the first time, you know. Okay. 
Where did it go? No idea. I'll we'll have to set up camp there. Start this up in the daytime, I guess. Yeah, I think so. I think it was 10. Here, I gave you a direct feed. If uh, that helps oh, any. Yeah. So now it's time to find the horse. Yup. Here, horsey, horsey. What? Well, if you can't find it, you can just try another time if you want to. Yup. If I go up on this rock, I'll be able to see it. Oh yeah. Whoa, <laughs> I hear it. I hear a horse. Yeah, they need their business too. It makes like a uh, weird noise, like different from the other houses. No, it may have despawned, but I don't know. Well, that sucks if I scared it off. I don't know. I think it may be despawned, but I don't know. I ain't sure. I always to the camp and sleep in it. Yeah, just run down this way and then I'm gonna set up camp and fast travel back. Yeah, it's better. Well, now you know uh, how to get the horse. Sweet! Oh, wait! Oh, that's just tracking that thing. I don't want to track that thing. I appreciate your help. Yeah, no problem, man. The horse is up here on Isabella. Sweet. Ah, uh, did a uh, camp time. We'll set up camp, then we will sleep. And then we will, no, we're not going to set up camp. Then we're going to fast travel back to our own camp. <coughs> Mic check, one, two. And then we will figure out something.
about to Clemens. Take care of this photo situation while we're there. We still got one more photo to thank to to, to do. I think. Hey, no problem, Alan. I appreciate your help, man. Thank you for joining me on the stream on the Discord, man. It's always fun to have people in chit chat for a little while. Yo, Bob and Bonnie. Yo, thank you so much. Thank you, Bob. Man, y'all are so awesome, man. John Wesley Thomas is back. Get ready to play this. Hello, John Wesley Thomas. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing good today. Let me find my little board right here. It's Bob. Y'all are amazing. Um, which color shall we go with? We don't have this one. <laughs> And again, give old buddy a pat for me. <laughs> and I miss my buddy. I miss my buddy. <laughs> All right. You are not the horse. This is just a temporary horse. So, uh, I have new rewards at my tent. All right, well, I'll hitch my horse over here. Here's my dog. Hey boy. Come here. Good dog. Yeah. What's going on in my tent? I got a new reward or something here? Okay. Do some work, Jerry. This isn't a holiday camp. What? Inspect. What's okay, yeah. Back. I got some horse stimulant, a flower, a photograph. Yeah, I've got all these things. What, the bank robbery slip? Yeah. These are rewards? These don't look like rewards. Not to me. All right, well, anyway, um, we've returned back to camp. Let's get ourselves some stew. If it's available. Are you going to join us, Arthur? Maybe. Where's the bowl? I guess we're not having stew today. Buddy's trying to figure out where the dogs are that are barking. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Alright. The white horse is actually the brother to the horse you tried to get. Fun oh, fact. Wow. Huh. Where should we go? White horse dare. This white horse is the... Oh, wow. Okay, that makes sense. Well, you know, I've been, I've been waiting too long to go see Black Bell. We're going to go see Black Bell. 
And uh, then we're going to try to find this other horse, I think. Or something else. I don't know. We got all night. Literally nothing else to do for me, so. Rybog, howdy. What's up, man? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing great today. Enjoying your long, long weekend. Yeah. I'll go take care of some, some chapter one business almost, I guess, maybe. Well, no, I haven't been out this far in the game. Temporary horse is out of whistling range, alright. I don't need a... Uh, I'm on my permanent horse. I don't need a temporary horse. Right now. Those look like... I don't want to mess with them. No, no. Oops. I need to go down this way. Hey, night, man. Have a good one. Nice virtual day of work. Now begins day four work weekend. Nice. Well, hey, that was the fastest train ever. Yep. Nice. That's a fox. Fox. I bet if I shot that fox in the face, I'd get a decent pelt. Tobacco farms, I guess. Chasing after me. What's wrong with this person? Why, why are they after me? What's wrong with you? those people's problems was they certainly weren't very nice hi there shut up I'm getting a little hot apparently so I need to change into my this out that's not the outfit I want. Alright, let's get the horse items. So, hot weather. There we go. White horse at camp says that in Red Dead history, Dutch took it to Lake Isabel, tried to get the horse you tried to get, but the brother horse came and Dutch took him instead. Oh! Oh, yeah, I forgot to loot the people. Oh, well. Hi, how y'all doing? Y'all done. Y'all go away. They tried to rob me. Okay, am I getting into new territory here yet? I don't 
Where am I? Alright, so I'm not quite in new territory yet. That's going to happen right up in here. Yeah. world's going on down there. Hey, mister. I just want to be left alone, all right? You care about this girl? Stand up for yourself. She'll come around. Yeah? I've been waiting. Okay. You'll be begging me to court you. Really? Trust me, kid. There ain't so many good men out there. Make yourself one of the good ones. <laughs> Thanks, mister. I hope you're right. Okay. You have a good day now. <laughs> Psycho dude. <laughs> Alright. Well, oh, he's running away. That's fine. You best not talk about seeing me here, mister. Why not? Alright, keep on going. Hey, partner. Hey. It certainly was an interesting conversation. Okay. 1883. Founded 1883. So this is later on. So we're approaching... What year are we in? Does it tell us? This is like... What year is this? What lovely weather. Yeah, he's a liar, yeah. Alright, so when the first thing I see is a bloody tree, I tend to get concerned. 1888? Uh, yeah, I thought it was 1888, but somehow I got 45 stuck in my head. Yeah, when there is blood all up and down this tree, there's something going on here. I'll take a look in the ledgers and see, yeah, that's a good idea. What's your issue? That the snake back center, please. Again, man. You won't believe it. I got bitten again. It's real deep. Suck it out of me, please. 
Uh, can't believe I'm doing this. Hold still. Never again. Oh, I owe you so much, mister. I can't believe you saved my life twice. Me neither. Well, I best be getting back to town. Gonna eat a stiff one tonight. <laughs> That's it. You ain't getting another out. <laughs> These with rattlesnakes. Oh, it's because there's a gang at your location. The gang is horrible gang. They're psychos. Kill and eat their... Or it's like they're zombies and don't trust a girl that is crying at your location. Yep. Yeah. Well, where am I on the map? I am... Way down here. Right, to Blue Water Marsh, apparently. That was a nice close up of horse crap. Anytime. Happy to oblige. Hello there. Hello there. What is up with all this blood on all these trees? Oh wait, you just told me that's what that's what's up with all the blood on the trees. Gosh. You know, there are other things that happen when it gets cold in this game and warm in this game. Things tend to uh, expand and shrink depending uh, on the horse, depending on the weather. Just, uh, in case y'all didn't know that little tidbit of information. Just gonna ride my horse up to your door. No, it's it's the absolute truth. Rockstar program the game. I didn't do it. You there? Oh, hello. You a bounty hunter? No. Nope. Well, not right now, I ain't. You Black Bell? I'd like to talk to you about your Wild West days. I don't care much for reminiscing. Your ears do it in cold weather too. You any friends as bounty hunters? None that spring to mind. Well, then you done led them boys here, and you none the wiser. Ah, those bounty hunters. Knew my luck had run out sooner or sooner. Well, get inside. I'll tell them you're gone. Oh, no, no. I ain't hiding from them scalp hunters. <clears throat> I ain't running from them neither. And fighting? Well, if it's just me against them, <laughs> that'd be a waste of time and nitroglycerin. Well, let me know what I can do. You want that Wild West story, don't you? Yes, I do. All right. Get up here quick. Now, when I give you the word, hit that. Whole place is wired. Black Bell, I got a contract here for your life or your liberty. We'd sooner it be liberty. That's mighty reasonable, mister. Come here. Let me take a look at it. Come on. 
I'm working on it. Thank you. More coming down the road. More coming down the road. Ah. Shut up. I need a better gun here. Scalp hunters off your back. Uh, for now. For now. So, you gonna tell me about your Wild West days running with Jim Boy Calloway? Little Boy Calloway? <laughs> the only running he did was away from a fight. And that's about the end of it. Well, a man's apparently a famous gunslinger. Yeah, so they say. But uh, don't get what's famous confused with what's true. The ones of us that live yeah, that life, we good. was too busy being scared for be our awesome. scalp to talk to no newspaper writers or dime novel men. Well, what were they like then? Those days they all talk about. <sighs> Same as now, I guess. Only longer ago. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna need your picture too, if it ain't a trouble. No, sir, no trouble at all. Can't be worse than those awful drawings on the wanted posters. <laughs> Hell, great. Uh, you stand over there and uh, let me get this thing ready. Uh, ready? Hmm. How do you want me? Like this? Just like that. Okay, got it. Then I guess I'll be on my way. There. <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Bell. You gonna be all right? Oh, been running for 20 years. Suppose I'll be running till I drop. Just the way it is. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> all right. Good deal. Let's go, uh, a looting. We can do lots of looting here. I get up in here. Not gonna look. Oh yeah, here we go. Loot. Oh, dude! I can use this. That's neat. No, I want to loot the other fowler too. Neither one of them have anything good on them, more than likely. Loot. A little bit of money. Alright. Let's try this guy. Let's go and get everybody while we're here. We ain't got nothing better to do, I don't believe. 
I don't think anybody's on the way. I hope not. here in the swamp so Are we getting anything good just a few cartridges every now and then nothing a little bit of money here. Not much, but a little bit. I don't reckon there's anything inside the house, but my hat's up here. Thank you. Go inside the house just to make sure there's nothing that we need. stuff that looks interesting we should be able to get to go down there you gonna put a basement in here like that and not let me get on it or get in it man this isn't my hat is it maybe it is this doesn't look like my hat Vegetables. There ain't nothing in there I need. I really don't need anything from in here. Alright. Well, let's go loot the people again. Don't hurt yourself there, buddy. It is my hat. Where did I... That looks really cool. I can see the reticle from way back over here. Couple of outhouses. And this is probably the final looter. Looty. Alright. Um, let's set up camp. Sleep. There's an activity nearby. What activity is nearby? Activity. Bill. Bill's way over there. I'm way over here. There's no activity. What is this? Lagras. Real sediment deep in the swamp, tight knit, self sufficient community, you know, experts in all matters of the swamp. Often hired as guides and trackers. Okay, that's interesting. Well, I uh, don't need to do anything there. There is a fort called Brennand. Go quickly from the area. Okay. Where's me horse? Alright, so we need 
to go probably if we're there we need to go like up and then over that works for me let's go Ah, uh, the special hat from the shipwreck. Yeah. All right, we're getting out of here. I see a person. They don't look to be a gangster, but they might be. You never know. We won't go this way. Blue water. That's their prime territory, alright? Now come on. Alright, so I've gotten out of here. Ooh. Easy now. I need to stay clear of blue water. So I can keep going north a little bit. McLean's house. I don't know what's at McLean's house. I'm gonna keep going north a little bit though. Let's see a bridge up here. Um, there's the bridge. Where'd the trail go? I missed the trail. Wanna come and say hey Detroit Scratchers are doing gambling and they're hitting big. When's my next stream? I try to stream Monday. I mean I'm sorry, I try to stream uh Wednesday through Sunday. So if I don't make it, I don't make it. If I do, I do. But um I do try to stream Wednesday through Sunday right here on YouTube. And I also stream on Tuesdays on Twitch. And Mondays I sometimes take the day off and sometimes I don't. So I try to stream honestly, like I try to stream seven days a week if I can. Um but sometimes life happens, so but you know. Um when you're next streaming awesome sauce off is abandoned, you search something in the basement, one of the towers. Let me go back to the map. Yep, I beat Saber on Twitch. I do, I do. Hey, thanks, Redbot. Yep, Tuesdays, um, I play Beat Saber over there, and uh, I've been trying to uh, uh, get a little bit to more streaming over there, but we'll see. Hey, right on, Danny. Sounds great. Thanks for coming in. Can I camp? <laughs> I gotta go grab something anyway, so I'll be right back. That's fire. Mind if I warm my bones? <laughs> Y'all knew this was Murphy Hills. You should be careful where you're camping. I can look after myself. Besides, it's a free country. Free country? <laughs> no. Everything bought and paid for. <laughs> and we don't protect what's ours. Y'all be careful where you wander. Come on. Well, it's time go. to make coffee, everyone. I think you got the Hello. What the hell happened here? <laughs> Shut up. Uh, did I just get robbed or something? What just happened? <laughs> I gotta go watch my own replay now. 
Pause this game. <sighs> All right, we're 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 going to go and watch the replay of my own stream so I can figure out what the hell just happened. What just happened. What just. Happened. Oh. But you know, um, sometimes like that is great. I gotta go grab something anyway, so I'll be right back. That's fire. Mind if I warm my bones? Okay, here's Murphy. <laughs> and then no, I got Murphy Hills. You should be careful where you're camping. I can look after myself. Besides, it's a free country. Free country? <laughs> uh, no. Everything bought and paid for. And we don't protect what's ours. Y'all be careful where you wander. Come on. Let's Time go. to make coffee, everyone. I think you got the message. Hello. All right, so he just, uh... That's interesting. And that's a really loud car. Anyway, I made I brought some coffee to make, so I have to boil the water and stuff. So I'm 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 gonna leave it on the pause screen so maybe I don't get uh hijacked. <laughs> oh my god. So it's a good thing that I have my water boiling device right over here in the next room. Get my coffee. Colton, what's up, buddy? How are you? Murphy gang will appear in this area and rob you. Oh, that's not too good. Yeah. Here's hoping we don't get robbed. This is not the new coffee, unfortunately. This is the old coffee. But it's convenient. But. Alright. As soon as the other coffee. Um. What you call? As soon as the water boils, we'll be good to go. Later on in the stream, we'll unbox uh, Joe's coffee. Need to reorder coffee or just try to drink what you have. Oh, coffee's so good. I am, I am a large fan of coffee. Big fan. Love the coffee. Prime this thing really quick. Let me get back into this game. I've got to change this thing out. It is disastrous. Alright. Let that soak up for a minute. And then we'll get back into our game. I can hear if the thing is going to boil. So life is good. Alright, I'm going to sleep until morning. They'll give you a chance to spare Arthur. Okay. Let's get out of here. Tear down camp. All right, so where's the fort then? Um, 
the two people that were there, the Murphy gang, they walk to you and talk to you to see how you react. Oh, I didn't react at all. Hmm. <gasps> North to the fort. Okay. Should we cross the river? Like, do I want to explore the fort? Or do I want to progress the game? I think there's only one way to progress the game right now. And that's by going and talking to Bill. So, uh, we can just run along the Yamasee River, I suppose. I'm going to get my uh, coffee. Water's boiled. Coffee is here. Headed up the river. Uh, you can just go to the fog on the map and it will disappear. Okay. Good to know. River, eh? And Kevin, what's up? Hello, interstellar extraterrestrial being. What's wrong with this thing? Sorry, I have one thing that's another today. That's all right. Da, da, da. Welcome to the Red Dead Session. Alright. We're all filled up. We're all happy now. We have coffee. Guess what we just stir? The fort is straight ahead. I know what you can add into your studio. What's that? You have a kettle set up there that boils water in 90... Yeah, I, I actually do have a kettle that will boil water in less than 90 seconds. It'll boil one liter of water, I think. Or one bottle of water. I'm not sure. But yeah, it's uh, it'll boil water in 90 seconds or less. And then uh, this particular one, it takes it a little over 90 seconds, but it does boil water very, very, very fast. I know what you need to add into my studio. You're exploring different dimensions. Oh, that's cool. Time, space... Flora, fauna. Um, I'm just gonna set a destination for here because I don't wanna. I'm just gonna follow the river. So here's me horse. What VR setup do I have? I've got an index. But, um, yeah, index on live. But I also am able to play test on other systems too. Like, I've got a Vive and a Reverb, so I can play test on, on anything. Dude, fishing down there. Maybe I shouldn't be talking to people because they uh, 
They don't like me. Or something. Those look like pretty herbage juices. But they're just flowers. Nope, they are herbage juices. Yay. Sage. Oleander sage. Nice. Poisonous. Ah. Yeah. You're just gonna quit talking. Why would you want to do that? No. Um, index needs to be off. Found one on Howard the Duck. I'm joking. <laughs> and here is a really red thing here. So you guys should go in here. Hello, Ducky. The panther. Okay. What's up, Ducky? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, it's upstairs. Maybe. Says there's a gun in there, but I don't see no gun in here. There's nothing here. I don't understand. Basement ladder. Can I get behind this structure? Is that what's happening? Huh? Like, okay. The gun is right here on my map. I forget, y'all can't see the, the map sometimes, so... There's the gun right there on the map, so I just need to get into the basement somehow. Like, it's right here. I don't, I don't understand. Behind the crate.
Okay. The crate where you pick up the card. Okay. Go back down here. Go back in here. Let's see the crate where I picked up the card. Yeah. Oh. They they made it really dark. I see. Thank you. Now here's the rare item that we've been waiting for. It's not even a gun. It's a knife. It's a knife. Old boy knife. A solid blade. Uh, okay. A D-shaped handguard. Okay. Okay. How's that gonna help me any? A Dustin, inner dead light, inner dead eye. Alright, so there's a crate, and then there's some ammo and stuff. Alright, so we'll loot the box. And we got some rifle cartridges. It's nice. Let's make a uh, sweep around the room. Okay, more cartridges. Thank you. Yeah, I don't need any of that. I do need the aged pirate rum. Thank you. Alright. And I... See something in the floor over here. Here's a hat. Probably a special hat. Gold nugget. All right, I'll take that. What else do we need in here? Nothing. I think I searched just about everything. Cool. Alright. Let me out of here. You can climb through a window, but you're unable to climb through that. Seriously? Nothing in here. Uh, it's uh, supposed to be an old fort. I think. It says my smell is... Oh. Cigarette card. Alright. Garama rum.
Definitely hopping on. Yeah, it's fun. My first playthrough. I like what it said. Alright. Guess we can go over here to this one and look around. I probably need to take a bath is what this is looking like. All right. Well, we've we've done fort things. Am I supposed to do anything else in this fort? I'm kind of ready to go. up here so what did I come up here for like just that little knife and a civil war cap like is that all I came here for the only reason I came here was for a knife and a hat time for a bowie knife yeah okay let's go back do something uh involving a little more action maybe um now i'm stuck all the way north all the way over here Just going to set up camp. <laughs> Fast travel back to uh, what you call it and uh, continue on. Oh, cool. Appreciate it. Hey. I just noticed something. What is this? There is a goose on the Beat Saber modding group Discord icon. Why is there a goose on the Discord the Beat Saber modders group? Okay. to get into this please do you worry do you worry that maybe we brought our way if you had a spine you'd be dangerous why won't you leave me alone ignore that hmm. i won't pretend ignorance i know just whatever i don't know Things i need bad. to go into somewhere and bathe we'll as well it. Can one bathe no. in camp these days? But somehow, you've summarized how I feel. It, it seems awful. And then, it seems the same as always. And then, it, it seems like there's just no other way. And I, I just... 
Yeah, I'm just not seeing that. I don't reckon I can bathe in camp, but I can fast travel. Hello, Arthur. Hello. Yes. Okay, um, things that I'm going to buy your tent. A little thank you for that season, and you brought me. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I don't need to play any poker. Let me go check the uh, the kitty over here, make sure everything's fine. Um, Well, they're still fine. There you go. Alrighty. You know, Arthur, it's the illness of romantics. What is hope? Hope is. Well, that's unfortunate. We're going to Billy. We're going to Billy. So Billy is going to be over here in uh, Rhodes. So we're going to fast travel over to Rhodes. Can't I lead you? Well, okay. You just gonna stay over there? Okay, fella. Let's go down to the hotel. The saloon and grab a bath.
clean up a little bit. Hey, do you need to you need to poop? Oh, you already pooped. Okay. Just just making sure. Being a nice fella, you know. I don't want to just bust in here. Ain't nobody home. Where everybody at? Ghost town over here. Bath is upstairs in this here uh, establishment. Hey, there's actually some people up here playing poker. No, thank you. They're playing blackjack, not poker. My bad. All right, scrubby, scrubby, scrubby. You need some help in here? Nah. Actually, yeah. I would. I, I like to gossip with the lady while she's in here. Trust me, you won't regret it. Let me know if it's too warm. Um, yeah, scrub away. Might not even recognize yourself after this. I hope not. Ah, you gotta treat yourself sometimes, I reckon. Yes, certainly. Uh, we don't like strangers much in this town. I know. Things get a bit crazy around here sometimes. Give me something useful here, lady. So... How's it going with you? Oh, I'm doing just fine. So what do you do when you ain't bathing folk? I've been known to put away a drink or two in my spare time. So you must have a feller. I may be a working woman, but I'm still a lady. <laughs> I can tell you're a good person. Oh, so you're a charmer. Hmm. <laughs> she does grab that water off the bottom of that tub, doesn't she? She reaches all the way down there to get that water. What's going on, Hero? I have no idea what that entire definition was all about, Breathe but thanks for explaining slow. that. It'll help you slow down. Help me slow down. Anyway, I'll stop rabbiting on now. No, no, you just, just keep. Your sorries. Time talking to a good man is time well spent. Yeah, that's right. What is she doing though? Please don't say that again. You'd be timed out. Lovely to meet you. Oh, not bothering me, you're just making a fool of yourself. <laughs> Alright, so we have our bath now. We don't look any better at all. Man, we look we look kind of bad actually. Ouch. Ten minutes, damn dude. Sucks to be you. So... I don't really... Do I want to fast travel? Probably not. 
Let me go out here and see what old Chalupa Spew is up to. Alright. What? Do we game? Sure. We mod better though. Yeah. One big video game. Point and click. Timeout ban. Timeout ban. Timeout ban. I <laughs> love it. <laughs> Could be. Possibly. It's never a good idea to chat when you're on those things though. Probably just end up uh, spewing forth a bunch of random nonsense that, you know. Nobody really gives a crap about in the first place. <laughs> but riding my horse now. Now riding my horse is fun. It is. And you know what else is fun? Riding my big old pickup truck. My big old pickup truck is fun. It can haul things. It can haul people. Hey, thanks, Rybok. Howdy, hey, partners. How y'all doing today? Short walk. Been waiting for you, Arthur. Well, Thank you. I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on. <laughs> What's the plan? What, We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them and their pants. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. Uh, Does seem legit to you, Bill? Sure. Dutch said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. They said there was some big misunderstanding about them horses. And what if they were bored in their fields? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, that's so. Yeah. They think it was the Braithwaite's. Listen, I know these great boys a bit now. This is on the level. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud, but instead of playing both sides, we're going? being used by both of them. They were saying the Catherine Braithwaite. Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Now it don't feel right? I could have told you. <laughs> great. Back this way. The way oh, there he is. Come on. Okay. Uh, what are we supposed to do? Exactly. Alright, there you are. I see you. Oh, gotcha. Store, right. Is this the gun store? Where we're supposed to go? Yeah. Who is shooting at me? Oh, you are. Oh, 
this guy's gonna be doing. You sure about that? <laughs> hey. Here. Yeah, let's go check this gun over here as well. Bolt action for double barrel shotgun. Ooh. I don't think I want to. I don't know, do I? Ooh. Well, I'm going to try it. You know, we can just go loot these people as, as we see them. Yeah, that aim was horrible. <laughs> Appreciate the thought, but it was horrible. Alright. You know, that has absolutely nothing to do with anything. Either way, you're a dead man. Okay. Morgan? Shit. I just want to point out pulling a shotgun. Well, how the hell point blank range in somebody's face like that? Not gonna end that way. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you. Same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't hmm. know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty. But you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what? Six months now? And all you ever done was complain. You can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Bill, take the boy's body. Very improper someplace, quiet. <clears throat> Micah? Best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight. <clears throat> 
All right. So that is the last of the yellow dots on this particular thing. Yeah. Who's like an annoying little brother? Oh, he's got a great point. What fun we had riding together. What a goddamn mess we are making of things. Oh, well, that's it. Okay. I keep looking for a movie. I want to watch a movie. Mm. All right, so we got a big flashing D on the screen. And you know what? I'm going to go for the big flashing D. Because I can. The big flashing D for Dutch. Dag nabbit. Not allowed in roads. <coughs> <coughs> that sucks. That's all right. I'm not allowed in a lot of places, it seems. What's this? A fence. A horse fence. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't have any horses to sell. Um, it's stable up here. That's got, what's going on here? Just a stable. All right, um, not going to Emerald Ranch right now. You know what, Chalupa Spew? You and me might just go for a ride. I mean, it's not that far. Yeah, let's just go on down here. Dutch, Let's see what's up. What's my bounty? Uh, I don't think I even it even set yeah. one for me. It's just red. Like I'm not allowed to be there. But uh, I'll, I'll look. Let's see what Dutch has to say. Um, normally it says like wanted dead or alive or something. Like if I go over here to uh, Blackwater, it says wanted dead or alive. If I go over here, it says nothing just that maybe i shouldn't be there i guess townsfolk probably ain't happy ever find any any more corpses with maps not yet i haven't these love dogs is that what that is morning here. Alright. I still do not understand why in the world I have this I have this thing right here. Right? This is a horse fetching uh, fetching or a horse post, right? My goodness. So, that's a hitching post. That's what I was trying to say. A hitching post. There's a hitching post right there. And if we look over here, we'll see that there is another hitching post. So, hitching post. Let's take a look at the graphic here. We're, we're starting... Uh, we've got opposing posts, and it goes from thick end to little point with a small branching on the right side there. Nice to Chalupa Spew. So now we'll go over here, and we're going to look at this at the, uh, the same way. So this, it, it starts big. It's a post. Yep, that, that is a hitching post, but it will not allow me to bring my horse into 
here. So why is there a hitching post in my camp? This person has a hitching post, see? The, I have a hitching post? This is actually my hitching post. But, uh, yeah, everybody's got a what? hitching post. Have you seen that boy, Jack? No. Where's my goddamn son? Where is he? Oh. Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think the Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. When Kieran saw a couple Sorry, of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, uh, where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him. We will bring him back to you. Oh, you want to have fun? We will kill have any fun. fool that had the temerity to touch one this hair on that boy's head. Abigail. You have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God. Right now. Dutch! We just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill him. Rest of you, let's ride. Okay, let's go get that boy back. I'm having a problem here. Let's see. Let me reboot this thing. I was going to have a little bit of fun, and then uh, the, the thing didn't want to work, so hang tight just a sec. <clears throat> Chat, 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 test, test. Okay. Got our chat back now. So, what's that guy's name? Yala? <laughs> Interesting. Just keeps changing his name all the time. That's neat. Mm, this is so much fun. <laughs> That's all right. Um, let's see. Why is it doing this? Hmm. Ah, here we go. Here we go. I got my fun button ready. I got my fun button ready. Here we go. My fun button's ready, everybody. Let me go ahead and put this somewhere where I can see it. Check my DM here. <laughs> Whatever you want to, wait, come on in. <laughs> All right. My fun button's ready. Too bad y'all are all mods. <laughs> All right. Fun button's ready to go. <clears throat> Yeehaw, Chaloop Spew. Yeah, we just got shot to hell by the Greys in town. I know, I heard about John too. I don't want to even think about that right now. We have to focus on Jack. I swear, I'll kill everyone there. Easy, John. Try to stay calm. I'm fine. How the hell did they get to him? I don't know, but we are getting him back and they will pay. I promise you that. What about the gold? Who gives a damn about the gold? They got Jack. <laughs> yeah. I hate to break it to you, but 
I don't think there is any gold. And if there is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. Christ's sake, Hosea! After all that, another perfect scam! We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk! There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it! So come on! Anticipation is killing me. Okay, How long did y'all zap him for? Like 10 minutes? Nobody makes a move until I say so. Why don't y'all like you know, those who got zapped like tune out and tune back in and watch a commercial or something? <laughs> I'd appreciate that. Buy something too. Check out the merchandise store. Great. We're gonna have some fun, boys. Yes, sir! You know what? Let's freaking go. Got my hat on now. Shut up. You told me to dismount. And then you were like... Caster repeater. Do I want that? That's all I have. That's fine. Arthur. Arthur, we can't do this without you. Shut up. Come on, let's get this done. John, you sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Oh, you hid Yala? Oh, that's why I can't Both find these it. redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. There they are. There they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? <coughs> He's sick. Let fly at those sons of bitches. John, I need you to stay calm. Get down here now, you inbred trash! What the hell do you want? Easy, John. We've come for the boy. Oh! Oh, it's time to play! Yay! Yay, time to play. One second, two second, three second, four second, five second, ten second, twenty-four hours, bitch. Shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever the you have with us, the <laughs> Bring another one. I love doing this. It's another video game for me. Point and click adventure. That's <laughs> not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> if you ain't gonna be civilized about this. Oh no! It started. Uh, I need to get the guy up top. Yep. Yeah. Behind the pillars. Marker, John, Jose with me. The rest of you watch out here for any other arrivals. Get in there. Find Jack and find that price white woman. Hey, that's a hat. I'll swap hats. Thank you. We have to find Jack. Jack. Where are you? Jack, you in here? 
You know, I should probably loot these people while we're here, you know? Like, carbine. I think I want the carbine. Or no, I want the Lancaster. I'm keeping mine. Well, I am going to loot these folks since I ain't got nothing else to do. Got a cattleman's revolver already. Swap hats. Alright. I uh, don't need your revolver there, sir. I do not. There's a body up top. Y'all got ammo? Five dollars and some miracle tonic, man. Heck yeah. Doing good on this little looting job here. Not bad at all. Two more we can get right here. y'all too much so let's just go in here oh man oh no it's not good something happened oh where are y'all at oh great Not, they got fire and they're gonna throw it at us. That's not good. Cure. Load the fucking gun, dude. Hey, thanks for giving him the engagement, though. I mean, you're giving him a view. Oh, is he watching ads again? Hell yeah. Dude, I love my ad revenue. It's like the best thing about YouTube. I get paid to do this shit. <laughs> Not much, but I mean, every little 10 cent ad that happens, you know? Boom, headshot. All right. Let's run away into that room. Let's get her. I can't see a goddamn thing. One, two. It's close. Ah! No! 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 Ah! Ah! 
want me to kill you too, old woman? You bastards! Where's the boy? We have lived in this house for 120 years. We never had no problems except for Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son! Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right. We get her out of here. What about them? Now let's get this hag outside. Any more of her sons to deal with? No, reckon they're all dead. That's right. Burn this dog to the ground. All right. Puffy. Uh oh. People. I guess that's the end of the goddamn cribbage game. Hmm. I guess that's the end of the cribbage game. <laughs> Love it. Hmm? What was I supposed to do? What, why am I? Oh. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I'll go with you. Look at us. Look at this posse. Hey, Cozy, how are you? Welcome back. I never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole my Boys are off limits. Best Red Dead channel. Hey, no rules in Thank war, you. Mr. Matthews. Yes, yes. That's it. <laughs> Where's the boy? My sons gave him to <laughs> Angelo Bronte. <laughs> so my guess is Saint Denis. Either there or on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. <laughs> what are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. <laughs> Peace out, bitch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, um, she, she'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this logically, well, that boy is fine. Oh, you know, yeah, you're they right. took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine, but... Well, of course, Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We, we finally get to go to the trouble. big city. <laughs> for nothing. No. <clears throat> no. Not for nothing. For living. Now, we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch, we got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors. A solution. Good day, fine people. Yeah, like Mr. a problem to me. Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. <laughs> huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan. Nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man, so in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? <laughs> Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing <coughs> but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, 
and I give the rest of you three days to run off, disappear, and go and live like human beings someplace else. You came for me? Risk life and limb in this den of lowlifes and murderers so that they might live and love? <sighs> Ain't that fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case, it'd be my honor to join you. Excuse me, <clears throat> friends. I have an appointment to keep with... I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something, something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, mm. I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools! Run! Come on. Why don't you just shoot him now and then run? That way you get a head start. If he's coming back, shoot both of them now. They don't have radios. What's the problem? If they're not back in 24 hours, you're already halfway across the country. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny People aren't very smart, are they? Dispute with the previous <laughs> occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, right out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back. And we'll get gone. Rest of you get packing. You okay. Come on, John. This is crazy. We'll get packed up, but we need we'll a new save our game if it will let us. won't let us but I still have to take care of human problems so unfortunately that means pretty music for the next couple of moments I'll return very shortly Yep, follow me. I know the way. Yeah. It's gonna be all right, John. Should be going for Jack. We will. We have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail or at the end of a rope. 
I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We made too much noise once again. We drew them right to us. I mean, how many people we killed the past few weeks? Far too many. It's Dutch playing his games. Mosea, too. Getting involved with those two families. Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always. Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, Davey, Jenny. And for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run. We'll be okay. We'll get through it. <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. Now, you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up. Rightly so. Just don't get too far in your head with all this. You'll never get out. It's a goddamn mess. That poor kid. We chose this life. He didn't. I don't know. I think this life chose us. You, me, Dutch, Hosea. It's been a long time now. Sure has. Lots changed. I sometimes wonder if things was ever the way we remembered them. If we were ever who we thought we was. Like I told you, don't go down a rabbit hole with this, Marston. That won't help nothing. I treated Jack bad. Abigail, too. I didn't want to believe he was mine. You know, when I was lost on that mountain after Blackwater, part of me thought, I could just leave again and no one would ever know. But some wolves thought otherwise. Look, you're here now. And this spot we're going to is close to San Denis. Soon as we get the others safe, we'll find this Bronte and get Jack back. What is this place? Lenny found it. Big old run-down plantation house. Another gang was holed up there for a while, but we sent them on their way. Probably moved on to one of their other hideouts, what's left of them. Where we got that dynamite for the bank job. All right. Should be just down this path to the left here. So, yeah, where were we? Come in, it's over. Just need to check, it's all clear. Now, where have I heard that before? Yeah, there, boy. That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. You ain't seen inside it yet. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. Sure, this place is empty? I ain't sure on nothing. All right. Let's leave the horses here and take a look. Oh, shit! It's them again! Boys! Get ready! Oh! Damn it! Still some here. I can see that! You're gonna die! There's more of them? I'll check the house. You keep watch out here. Going in then? Come out with your hands up! 
You can still walk out of here. I'd advise you to run, you son of a bitch. You fools should have left when you had the chance. Die. <laughs> Any more of you upstairs? I'm coming for you! You hear me? Come on. I got a bullet here waiting for you. Didn't you get the message last time? Where are you creeps hiding? Come out where I can shoot you! Come and fight you then. I knew you'd come. Soon enough. You were some of the coward. Like you. The bounty hunters. The freedmen. The carpetbaggers. The army of criminals who stole our land and our government. I survived them all. Our fight will live on. Jesus. How's it looking up there? I think that's a lot. Didn't even have to shoot the last one. Good. Come help me with this, will you? You coming? Here, give me a hand moving these bodies. Don't want the others walking into this. Way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. <clears throat> okay, I can deal with the rest of the bodies. You go meet up at the caravan, guide them in. All right, see you soon. I hope.
We got fine living. Ignore the corpses and the alligators. It's paradise. I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. Dodge? Yes. Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. that girl all I've got going on and she wants to talk everything okay with you two I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea quite possible it's absolutely possible yay oops so where are we going my chat didn't scroll either. That's interesting. Hey, so I was muted and my chat didn't scroll. Nice. So let me go back up here and catch up on the chat. So we have Root Beer Tapper. Somebody doesn't like my hat. That's cool. Saint Denise. All right, cool. Taco Bell, Taco Bell. Uh, catch the one on fire. JS is in the room. Hey, JS. Good to see you. Sorry about that. Um, a big croc that eats them. Yeah. That R and croc. <laughs> Oopsies. All right. Let's try this again. Maybe the chat will scroll too. I do have two windows open, so maybe one of them will pick it up. This way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back. Whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families, losing Sean, I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, we'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. Where is this on the map? I'm just curious. Okay. Hey, Rhodes isn't blocked off right now currently. So it's way over here. Nice. Cutscene. <laughs> Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. <clears throat> Big cities. They're always repellent. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes. Hey, Cammy, take it easy, man. See you later. Have a great night, you and the missus in Acos. Go have fun and sleep well. I'm going to sleep well. I got my new mattress unboxed. Speaking of unboxing, we got that coffee to do, too. Gotta unbox that coffee. Achievement unlocked. Nice. Settling feuds. Chapter 3. Good night, Cammy. Hope you have a good weekend. Here, buddy.
Cammy. Y'all have a good one, man. And Wit, would you like to have a live game feed? That might help things out. Whatever you think. Alright, that'll give you a live game feed, sans the audio. You'll still get audio from the uh, stream, but that'll give you a whatever, if you want. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Alright, um, save game. I'm sure it just saved it for us, but we'll save game anyway. And I want to go and read all these Discord messages really quickly. You know, we're discussing something in there. Oh, yeah. I'd sent you something earlier too, but that was no, no big deal at all. Wasn't even related to that. Okay. About upcoming events? Yeah. Yeah, gotcha. Cool. Alright. Good to go. Game time. Uh, Alright, so the woman in the background is Miss Wit. That's Fantastic Wit84 in the chat. Now that we're here, what do we do? So I go to the saloon. There's new horses available for purchase. I've got $892. I'm going to go to the stable real quick. Just, just to see what they have. Is this a hitching post? <gasps> oh my goodness. You know, I am a dumbass. And, uh, I've seen these before. Like, let me zoom in. These right here, I've seen these places before. And I, I, I just never really put together that that was actually what they were used for. Because they were actually installed in the 1800s and we didn't have cars here in town. So, yeah. I couldn't tell you where one is, but I have seen these before. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Hello, mister. Hey. All right, Sean, they wow, have a that horse. Wow, rude. Howdy. Sweet. Let's go. Into the stable. Hello. J Fast Canning Company, right there next to the horse store. Hmm. <laughs> Let's, uh... Here, give them a tune up or whatever. I don't want to sell them. Done. Right. Attacking services. He's leaving his horse and guns wide open. LOL, not today. Is that a bad thing? See you later. Your horse will be fine here. My horse will be fine here. Where's my horse? I didn't want to leave my horse. I have to take the horse in here, I guess. Oh, it'll get stolen? Come here, Chalupa Stew. Take you inside if they're gonna if they're gonna steal you. Stable if you need it. All right, tacking services. Horse care package. 
Okay. That's expensive. All right, so Chalupa Stew's good. Let's go back. Let's look and see what they got to buy here. Oh, yeah, my horse has four, and these have much more. The Arabian is 945. Oh, wow. Yeah, ooh, I like that Arabian. I just need money. What sort of horse are you looking for? This Arabian right here. That's okay, though. Tack and service. Do we have any new tack? Real fine saddles here. That's pretty. I already have one. Of course I like it. Um, I need to leave my horse in there, don't I? Is something wrong with you? Shut up. Hello. How's that horse doing? I got space for you if you need stabling. Uh, I do need to stable the horse. Chalupa stable. Alright, so, good. Alright, so I can just stroll through town now. And everything will be fine. Everything's this way. Hey, look out. Hey, sorry there. Hey, mister. Hey there. This is a town. Like, real honest to goodness town. Wow, produce and canning. Okay. <clears throat> a pencil factory. Electric power company. Howdy. Gavin, huh? Everything We're still okay. looking for Gavin. Is Gavin that crazy fool from earlier? Hold off on that thought. Okay. He's looking for Gavin again. Hey, can I speak to you a second? Nobody's riding their horses through town, huh? I thought Gavin was in a Valentine with that person locked in the basement. Where are you at now? I'm in this new city called uh, San Denis or something. St. Denis. St. Dennis. Hmm. <clears throat> I like this game. It makes even the viewers backtrack and think. <laughs> I like how it kind of shows like the end of the era between modern civilization and the old west. You are correct on that one as well. You spend all day on that one. Hey, you deaf mister? That looks like him. Got big mouths, don't you? Bet you wouldn't miss some teeth. That looks like Gavin. Don't move. Let's get those hands up nice and high. Uh oh. <laughs> Works every time. We go out here in the middle of the street. Watch it, everybody.
gotta go. There's no way I'm getting out of here alive. There's no way I'm getting out of here alive. Is there a post office around here someplace? I wonder if this is going to help. I don't want to take a potion or anything. Are they, are they just going to surround me here? night Alan see you later have a great night thanks for uh thanks for sticking around so long man I'll see you good night Alan good night. thanks for joining and the hips uh tips about the horse too man <sighs> let's try not to get killed this time <clears throat> sure, don't have a, oh yeah, we're fine. All right. Some of the docks over here. I hear a duck. The Anna Nash. Huh. Jeez. Rude. Well, howdy now. Don't talk to me. What is this guy's problem? My goodness. Let me out. Thank you. Just out of nowhere. There's my horse. Sir? 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 You stop, goddammit! I mean it, stop right now! Hey, let's calm it down. I forget it, just get out of here. I'm getting the authorities now. Damn fool! Keep your mouth shut about this. Oh, great. Now we have lots of them. <laughs> this is horrible. These people have... have... a whole lot of sensitivity going on. So we can't brush shoulders with people. This is the, the fall of civilization. Everyone got too sensitive real quick. <laughs> I ain't trying to. <clears throat> I 
Where's my horse? Oh, he just walks slow. Excuse me, pardon. Gate. You out of here? There it is. Let's not run over anybody now. Howdy, partner. Partner. Get up. Oh, something. What did that say? El El Vinsel. Uh, EF Pencil Company. Man, that's that Gavin fool. Alright, come on, Chalupa, let's go. Let's go, boy. Uh, make sure when you catch. Okay, gotcha. Cool. Sure are concerned about this Gavin feller. Look out. So sorry. Howdy. Hey partner. Y'all need to move. Hey there. How do you do? I'm doing great, thank you. How are you? It still looks like New Orleans a little bit. Like the beginnings of New Orleans. Kind of crazy. You can actually see some of this like downtown Memphis. Took a bunch of money and made promises. He was gone by dawn. Happened before. going hey excuse me I need you to come over here and stay there Steal my horse, right? Hopefully. Oh no. Stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, real funny, Dutch. Okay. Oh, I thought so. That wasn't funny. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. From what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here or not. Y'all, y'all, y'all don't really have to look at me like that. 
funny you should say that. <laughs> well, you know how it is. I told him. I say, that's the state of Lamar <laughs> for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> that's why we love it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, I'm a transplant, but I'm never leaving. Not unless we all get washed away. <laughs> all right, this is kind of an upscale establishment. It ain't happened yet. <laughs> kind of like this. The rest of the states, they lucky to have us. If it wasn't for us, they probably have run back to Britain with the tails between their legs at the first sign of trouble. You got that right. Hello? Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Yeah, sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scott. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister. Can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Oh, right. Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big. Mr. Italian spaghetti eating long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know I get. All right. Oh, Gotta go. Hey, friend, you, you be careful now. <laughs> Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Okay. You know I have appointments to keep. Au revoir. What do you want? I want to brush my horse, actually. Morning. Wasn't you supposed to be tied up anyway? Hello. Hey. Excuse you. Excuse you. Excuse me. Your sense of humor is an acquired taste. You're rude. Oh, hello. Hello. You sure run into some nice folks out this way. <clears throat> is that true? I turned it up some. If that's not enough, let me know. There's some kids in the alley over there. Hey, fellas. Hey. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tell you. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What old cost? I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. You don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You Pre new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? 
Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but uh, we all friends now. Isn't that the most beautiful testament to God's love for us all? Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, <laughs> you little pair of shits. Get going. He's coming after us. You better stop right now. You gotta go. Hey, fool, I need to get on that train. Stuck on what are you? Get back to the farm. I'll spend nice, Mr. I promise. Get back here. You all right back there, old man? Just give it up, kid. Jeez, kid. Kid. It's kid's problem, man. Slip on water. What's the problem, Fred? Give me my things, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is. And he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. Kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. <laughs> ah. Come on. You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just want to speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. 
He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yokel. Now, get out of here. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, I tried to get the white horse, the Arabian, but uh, I ended up um, not catching it. So, I'm going to go back another time. See what happens. Are you my horse? You're not my horse. saying that the brutal dude oh thank you for your subscription brutal dude welcome to the channel they are indeed i agree with you who's asking for things shut up hey how you doing Just wish today was over already. I sure am sorry to hear it. Morning, sir. Morning. Ah. Say what you want about the people around here. They're friendly. All of us now. Bye for now. Anything. Right on. So who is begging for things? I keep hearing people begging for things. Here's my horse. Are you begging? Are you over here? Is this you? Yeah, you. Here, have some money. Go get yourself something to eat. Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. Thank you. It's nice to give something instead of just begging. That's nice of you. I hate asking for money like a goddamn oh, worm. Groveling here in the dirt. <sighs> it's okay. <sighs> yeah, alright. We're just gonna keep on moving. Hey, Spew. What's up? Hey, alright, me and Spew's gonna go on down this way here. Saludos. Hey, mister. Oh, shoot. This is a rather interesting town. I could stay outside all day in this weather if I could. I bet you would. I bet you would, wouldn't you? Let's go. Oh, Chalupa Spew, we got stuff to do. I don't know what we're supposed to be doing, but we're doing it. <clears throat> My map done got bigger. Hey, how you doing? Excuse me. Yeah. How are you, ma'am? How you doing? Did, did you want something? Was, was you saying things to me? Hello. Hello, ma'am. You don't like this town? <laughs> Gusenheimer's booksellers. Mm -hmm. Makes me want to watch a western, man. Like, I don't know. It makes me want to watch a documentary, actually. It doesn't make me want to watch a western. It makes me want to watch a documentary on how the west was, like, settled. Hello. That would be, like, I want them to make one of those epic mega series of. Not necessarily how the West was won and all that, not necessarily all the fights, but just the normal day-to-day, -day, like how these little towns were built up. Like, you look at this this house right right here, or this business, whatever this is. This this is a tailor, actually, it says so, right there. But, like, 
this right here is straight up Bourbon Street. Like, that style. And all these buildings, you know, the triple stories. I mean, this is all amazing to me how it. You can kind of see it happening, like, not necessarily in real time or even in real life, but this kind of explains a little bit, even if it is fictitious. And I really like it. It's just, it shows a little bit into the way things actually were, I suppose. I don't know. Yeah, I'm coming. All right, Spew. I'm gonna hit you up right here, all right? It's a true gem. You are correct, cowboy. Coffee shop. Hey, there's a coffee shop. Where you been? Getting robbed? At your mom's house. Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John, you meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. All right. I cannot decide which I like less, the swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east to land we know, and far from oh, real yeah. open country. The joys of civilization. Mission complete. <clears throat> Save game. Now that it has dropped below 70 degrees in this room, it is time for me to go and turn on the central heat. So hang tight for just a second, be right back. <clears throat> All right. The first full Italian mob organization in the U.S. was actually in Louisiana. That's interesting. That's really interesting. Wow. Yeah, I even have a microphone when I came back. That's even more amazing, huh? All right. Uh, buenos dias, senor. Buenos dias. Hi there, ma'am. Howdy. Uh, uh. Watermelons and bananas. Watermelons and nanners. Godless on Netflix. Okay. Movie list. All right. Godless. Add to list. Lonesome. Steal. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Get my karma rating like all the way bad, you know. Lonesome? Okay. I want like true history. One thing I want. I want the, the true history of the West. Lonesome Dove. Oh, yeah, that was a TV series. Lonesome Dove. There's Walker, Texas Ranger. That wasn't. Lonesome Dove. And then there's uh, 
What's that other show? Little House on the Prairie. I don't know. I, like, I want to see if there's like a documentary or something on, on the West. That's <laughs> all good game tamer. All right. I'm going to take a little. Whoa, this place is big. Holy cow. <clears throat> All right, so there's Shady Bell back over here. This map is getting quite large. Wow. Wow, we're getting big. We're getting big, big, big. Wow, and it extends too. Like, holy goodness. So there's a whole region down over here that we have to explore. Okay. And then there's all this up in here. Wow. There, there's a bunch of shit to do. But look at this town. This is crazy. We've got a tailor. We've got dominoes. We've got a theater. We've got a, a stable. We've got a newspaper stand. We have another th another show. Post office, butcher, general store, a, um, a trapper fence wow there's a fence in here all kinds of stuff <laughs> hey are you talking about chalupa spew over there he's a show horse and a grow horse his ears perk up quite often <laughs> that's good thank game tamer for that one i'll start using that more often hey there. How is everything? what the hell's wrong with you huh A butler and bro. <laughs> a butler and bro. Good morning, you hear? Hey. Are you well? Y'all look, y'all look crazy. This dude is selling shutters. It's a shutter salesman. Arthur, who was who was telling me Arthur? Hello. Uh, you, Mister. Uh, you. Morning. You know. There's something about this place. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry about that? So interesting to look at, okay? All right. What did I do to you? Sorry, mister. My mind was elsewhere. So now we're friends, okay? Okay. Okay. Hello? Hello? Yeah, mister. Why are you I'm not afraid what? of you? We're American are very strange. I'm just trying Will you just go away? Did. You crazy. I'm just trying to walk here. You're the one that's got the problem, bruh. Uh, this is the trapper. What will he give me for one of these pelts? Hold on. What? Go back. Be there. Right, let's see. Eighty-four cents, seventy-five. They've got nothing here. These are not worth any money here. They're one star pelts. That's all right. Oh, wasn't anticipating no wind. It doesn't seem like stopping anytime soon. Hello. Hello. Bookstore. All right. <clears throat> we got two things that we can do. We got Mary Beth and Dutch is way up here in Mary Beth. So Mary Beth needs to speak to me. And then Dutch and John. Uh, Mary Beth, I think. I want to go talk to Mary Beth first. Ah, uh, maybe I don't want to go talk to Mary Beth first. She's way over there. So, we'll go see Dutch, I suppose. <clears throat> I could do more though. Uh, I could 
do so much more. How do I get into this place? Oh, I guess there's a door here. Hey, buy me a drink, mon ami. Hello. Sure, what you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. Quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Hmm? I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. <laughs> How very she's honest. Of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I, I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very French. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, old ass. Mm? Asshole. He is not an asshole, he's a that whole too. ass. That too. I've been using that term for well, years. You have some self knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? All the civilized world, painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No, I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris. No, according to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Hmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Hmm? I guess so. Hmm. You know. The beauty uh, of the big city. Arthur. Charles. You know, Arthur, don't believe in art. Hmm. It's lies. Believe in women. They're the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina, <laughs> okay. the truth, breasts, All is right. truth. Art, for it is. You say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better, <laughs> much better. <laughs> <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm, no matter. Good meeting you. Mm. Nice meeting you, Charles. Good talk, bro. Yeah. Oh, we have a legendary animal map. That's not. Whoa, is that it? Hey, legendary animal map. All right. It doesn't show my horse on there, though. It doesn't show the horse on there. Move yourself. Would you? Can I flip people off in this game? Our people are so just... Ugh. Morning, mister. Morning. Hey there. Do you have... Remind me of a feller I used to know. Oh, yeah? Sorry, can't put my finger on it. Bye now. Bye now. Just go back in here, maybe? Do these people have services in here? Back so soon, huh? Bye yeah. Judge. I want to talk to people. I can't sleep in here, huh? I guess I gotta go to the hotel to, to clean up and stuff, huh? Having something? 
Well, what are you up to? Morning, mister. So did you find Mr. Bronte? No, I thought better of it. Wise move. You don't want to get tangled up with that fella. So I've heard. We we'll have a drink while we're here. Just give me a drink, quick. And Joe. Let's go stumble around town. Where you from, Mister? Me, I'm Saint Denis, born and bred. This is the real city right here. Might not look like much, but Saint Francis is the soul. Not the mansion district with all those big old houses. You won't hear music like you do around here nowhere else in the world. Ragtime, he puts rhythm in the white man. But what do you care? Not much, I'm guessing. I sure I do. I care Hello, a lot. Mister. <laughs> Thank you. Apparently I was thirsty. What a guy. Yeah. Probably need to eat something too. Get some beans. We we'll eat some beans. Get my uh, my health up a little bit. That'll be good. Hey. He's just throwing his trash all over the ground. I tell you. How you do? Hello. Hello, sir. Hello. Hello, sir. People are kind of nice. I mean, ooh, what's back here? What's back here? Mister? Howdy. Howdy. We got a palm tree. We got a patio. Oh, man, look at this place now. Look at this nice place we got here. It's a nice little Hello. place to hang out. Hello there. How are Hi. you? Nice to meet you. Hello. Hello there. Hello. Why hello? Okay. Hey. 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 Mister. Mister. Hey. How you doing now? Madam. This mystery I need. What's in here? Even better. It is free. Hello. It's free. What's free? Somebody said something was free. Hey fellas. Gentlemen. They, they ain't too friendly. Some of them are friendly, but some of them rather not have anything to do with me at all. Could you stop following me already? I'm only kidding around. Go find someone else to house. Hello, ma'am. Hey, sweetie. You look your face looks familiar. Huh? Ah, uh, maybe I was mistaken. Don't mind me. She I looks like she's out here working. <laughs> she definitely looks like she's out here working. Yeah. Looks like uh, you're working too. You're lost, honey. Yeah. Anyway, how's it all going for you? Oh, well. Okay, well, don't let me keep you. You take care now. Okay. Oh, me. All these Hello. people. Well. Así es la vida. Hey, mister. Well. Get through the gate? Yeah, I can. Nice. Linens and dresses. And what we got here? What, what is this? Banjos and harmonicas. Okay. Instruments. Hair. Hello. Confectioners. We got a, a chocolate factory in here.
This is the square where they hang people, apparently. Well, there's a rake down here. I guess the cemetery's back here. Yep. How could I have imagined that? Well. General Quincy Harris. Born in 1826, died in 1888. Or Like I should be able to get in there. Yeah, this is New Orleans. It's got to be. All of these graves are above ground. Like this. I'm not going to get out of here. Wow, this reminds me of that haunted house I went to down in New Orleans where we went through a cemetery on the outside. So cool. Hey, how you doing? Wow. I wonder what this place is. Ladies? Sir? Give me a side eye, aren't you? Friendly faces around here. Oh. Hi, miss. How are you? Anyway, doing? folks, please don't mind me. Farewell. What's inside? The law should what? know about this. What happened? What are you talking about? I just tried to go inside. Oh, I was not trying to trespass. Homes for the blind. <laughs> oh, is someone there? Hello. Why am I wanted? I'm just gonna run and try to get and hide. I think I can handle that. Ooh. Bonjour, Monsieur. Hey. Hey. Hey, you. You ain't supposed to be Alright, my wanted level is decreasing, so that's good. <laughs> now I've got to go due to my recent crimes. Oh my goodness. So what can I do? I can go up here. My recent crimes was trying to get into a door that I thought was a business. Oh, Excuse me, sir. Can I bother you for a minute of your time? Sure can. All right. Can I tell you a little about what we're doing here? Yeah. Sure. Less than a minute, I promise. Okay. Uh, we're 
trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall, a shelter for Is homeless veterans that? and their families. Can you help? A donation of $20 would put us well on our way. That's a lot of money. But that's okay. Twenty dollars ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. Thank you. Alright. So uh, let's find some place to stay for the night. Saloon is locked, apparently. Oh, we go find a show to watch. But I really would like to find some place to stay. Maybe get a haircut. Let's go to the barber. That's a good place. Let's just go to the barber. Won't you support our veterans and their families? <clears throat> Old stop sign or city okay. railway stop. Okay. Long way to get down here to the old barber shop. I see. I gotta make some money here pretty soon, though. I need to buy that horse. Dra draft horse brewery. All right. Here's a bakery. Wow, holy, are you kidding me? Hello. Hello. French Laundry, that's the name of a restaurant. I'm sure this probably actually means laundry, but, uh... Hello? Hello. Looking for a trim? Yes. A little bit. Need my hair pomaded. <laughs> oh wow! There's lots of things I can do here. We can go bald, pomade, left parted. Left parted fade. No. Middle parted. That's what I normally do. This is like my near, my hairstyle. What I do. Middle parted fade. No. Right parted. No. Swept back. Uh, I normally just swept it back. But middle part. That's what I do. Bye. Fellas will be jealous of a part like this. Yes, sir. Okay. Trim. I need any. I don't need a hair trim. No. Actually, I do want to talk All to right. him. You're ready to go. I want to talk to him about a beard style facial hair. I have full styles now. Oh, look at me. <laughs> the soup saver. <laughs> the presidential. The brigadier. Verity. Yeah. Fort Dutchman. Alright, so I don't need any of those. I just take my normal beard. Hey, Rybok. See you later, man. Have a good one. Fashion now, from what I hear. Please tell your friends about us. I will try to do that. Oh, you can come over here and get yourself a cup of coffee and a cigar. That's nice of them. Hello. 
Easy there, friend. Thanks. Hey there, sir. Hey. Partner. Cafe. Something. It's a restaurant. I don't reckon we can eat in there. Bonjour. Bonjour. This is New Orleans. It has to be. There's a hotel bar in here. That's nice. I don't reckon we can go in here though, can we? Nope. Alright, let's actually put a waypoint down, figure out where we're gonna go. Let's go back over here to Dutch. Say, furnished room. Oh. What are you selling? Come here, come here and buy my book. My book will change your life. My book will make you who you want to be. Rich, rich is who you are, and rich is who you shall be. But you have to read the book. I'm trying. Hey, partner. Hello, friend. Do you want to be rich? Sure, I'll take one. That'll be fifty dollars. Mm. Fifty dollars for a book, and cheap at the price. You read this, and you'll want to give me a hundred more. Don't think so. Forget about it. Huh. Well, you're lost, buddy. Fifty dollars. Do you? He said. You need to be rich. And the only way, the easiest way, the best way to get rich is to read about it in my book. This Somehow is I don't think so. Uh, can I stay someplace and like wake up in the morning here? Uh, mission ambient. Need a hotel. What's your general store? The saloon is locked. Where do I sleep for the night? There's a doctor. Another general store, a fence. Where's one supposed to sleep in this town? There ain't no hotel here? Well, I have to use the restroom anyway, so I'll be right back. And we're back. I can't believe there's nowhere to stay in this town. That's weird. There should be a hotel in here. But 
That's fine. It's uh Hello, mister. It's late at night. You need to be staying somewhere for the night instead of going out to the park to talk to somebody. I feeling I don't want to be out at night time <clears throat> in the city. about this guy not much just see some slick little greasy haired European clearly got power and money now listen if we go in there and start shooting up the place the boys gonna get shot that I guarantee better like this you're gonna have a lot of protection hey, no one gonna get shot Arthur so everyone just relax we'll charm them trust me this the place <clears throat> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh? Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. <laughs> I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. Mm -hmm. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Theodore, <laughs> that is a very stiff woman here. <laughs> Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn, uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. <laughs> John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. 
So, Time. Uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> what are you going to do for me? But, uh, yes. should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Of course I know you would not want that, huh? Right. Uh, no. No, no, no. So, how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Oh, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy. I love oh, you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, why you tell me more about my manners? <laughs> Salute. Salute. <clears throat> Come on now. At boy. night. Let's go. Uh. Get in the way, dude. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen. We found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figured... The Braithwaites were going to hold Jack Ransom. For all the money we cost him. We must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay. Okay. I think this is it. Mm -hmm. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. Kitchen post there. The Move, mother go on foot trucker. Here, Arthur. You can rest now, boy. <sighs> this way. Get the hell out of here. Once we get the boy back. That bastard better keep his word. Place is starting to make my skin crawl. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, I see him. Wait, wait a second. I saw the grave robber earlier. It went this way. 
Let's keep going. Yep. to drink. Our friend died. Mm-hmm. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get yourself home. All right, so we're not done yet. Obviously, it's a big, big cemetery. I don't know find this guy. Straight ahead. First shot at us from <sighs> robbing grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Right. Like I said, let's look around where they jumped us. I think we're supposed to go back over here, aren't we? Yeah. Song. Come on, let's quickly check that spot where it all kicked off. Okay, so you want me to follow you? This is the area that I'm supposed to be in. I think there might be something in here. Okay. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Damn, the law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. <clears throat> Locked. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it. Come on. 
We best stick to the side. Good job, buddy. Whoa. Get out of here, come on. Come on. Alright, Spew. Let's go. Good boy. Good boy. Let's go. Don't know what happened. with us he almost certainly is but let's just see keep your head act normal how's he even gonna know we did what he asked i got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast like i said we'll just see where we're at once we got jack all right <clears throat> Ooh, fool. You know where we're going. The music is so intense. Right. Let's get this done. Let me hitch my horse there, buddy. You coming in with me? Uh, can I put that on the horse? Yeah, probably. Let's get this over Shut with. Shut up. Let's go. Well, <laughs> you took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Look. Bronte. You all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, 
Miss Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. Is that so? Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? <laughs> What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. <clears throat> Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. <laughs> oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Real good to see you, Jack. You too, Uncle Arthur. Did you catch the bad guys? Which ones? At the graveyard. Uncle Dutch and Papa Bronte told me. Just Mr. Bronte. Yeah. Me and your pa dealt with him. I told him you would. Wait till you see this new camp. Not another one. Well, this one's got a house. Not as nice as Mr. Bronte's, mind you. That's okay. We'll get you settled and cleaned up in no time. Oh, I had a bath last night. <sighs> of course you did. Hmm. You had a nice night then? Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son! Everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama! They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah! <sighs> Uh, so, it's like at night time. Well, <laughs> we met Mr. Bronte. He is uh, quite a character. Is he now? Have you ever meet an Italian strong man before? <sighs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. All right. $112 for all that. Wow. That ain't nothing. $112. Good to have you back, kid. We missed you. Hey, how about a song? Javier, play us away. Bella Sierra, morena, cielito lindo, vienen bajando. 
un par de ojitos negros y cielito lindo de contrabando. Celebrate, y'all. Cielito lindo viene bajando. Un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo de contrabando. Think about contraband. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, oh, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Es el lunar que tiene Take a look around, cielito camp. lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. <sighs> <clears throat> All right, so this is Pearson's place. Nice. Take some supplies while I'm here. Imagine I got plenty of food for the road there. How you doing there? Loitering suspiciously as usual. I, I'm just trying to give you all your moment. Well, very <laughs> kind. All right, let's give this boy a bit of space. See you later. Good to have you back, Jackie. We Welcome back, Jack. Thanks. All right, well, that was fun. You must be starving, son. Let me get you something to eat. Thanks, Mama. Can I play a little? What happens over here? Who are you? Well done, guys. You okay, Sadie? Sure. You boys did good. Good for you. Well, oh, we got thank you, Sadie. Thank God it worked out. Welcome back, Jack. Thanks, Uncle Jose. Well, a beer bottle. I'll let you find folks get reacquainted. Why well, do I need one of these? Oh. Okay. So there's food over here. We can go get ourselves a snack. Tahiti, dear boy. Tahiti. If you say so. <laughs> Mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Faith, Arthur. Have a little faith. Eat up. I want some soup. There's the bowl. Thank you for the stew. What's this place over here? Oh, it's just another bar. some drinks in San Denis sometime. Yeah, I saw that's a good idea. Ah, come on. It was one bad night. <laughs> What's the objective here? Nothing? Camp party. Yeah. I guess we just mill around camp until we go to bed. This 
So I'm going in the house. Javier mm. mm. plays good, don't he? He sure does. Well, let's You're have a good, a good night. We deserve one. I'm just happy to have the boy back safe. Ain't nobody ever gonna take him again. I swear. So I get my own bedroom in here. I was thinking maybe it would be a little easier for me to keep an eye on him if we all stayed together. You know, in my room. Look around you. Ain't nothing normal about any of this. Yeah, about that. Oh my goodness. Y'all seeing what it's saying on the screen? Wow. Wow. Come on along now, Jack. Time for bed. That's a heck of a story. Yes, this is I'm so confused. Apparently I can't uh, sleep in here. Oh yes. Inspect a note. So two people escaped from jail or something. Probably a bounty hunting mission. They're just talking up a storm. I'll go upstairs. Anything down here? my room? I guess it is. Sleep. Morning. Apparently, I have a new note that I need to see. It's a letter. My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens... I believe you saved his life, and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I am not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Oh, Arthur, I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, 
I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so, yours, Mary. Okay. Uh. <coughs> Mic check. One, two. Hello, Dale. Good morning. Sure is nice seeing the kid back around. I don't know if I could have gone on much longer. All in the past now. All right, let's go down here and see what's up. You're a real paragon. I know, I know. Take it easy. I'm just needling you. Oh, yes. Very good. Something here. Money? Oh, here's the, the, the kitty thing. I need to take a look at the ledger, too. Hey Joe, still watching Beans in the room. What's up, Bean? How you doing? Are you doing the right thing by that boy now? I'm looking out for him, same as we all are. He looks like you, John. I got that boat for nothing. <laughs> They need food, apparently. Let's buy them some food. Uh, food. This is Other stuff. Buy a better bed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, funny enough, I did buy a mattress today in real life. I went to Costco and I bought a mattress. So, damn it, Arthur! Let me sleep. Ricker ordered the Zircon Stud Finder that will detect wires, PVC pipes, hex pipes, metal drywall screws, and the center of wood. That's awesome. How cool is that? that we can do. Mary Beth and Jose. <sighs> Who do I want to go and see? Did I buy a pure foam mattress? I bought a Casper mattress. So it is foam, but it's the Casper brand. Hi there. 
Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. So, no regrets? No regrets, regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking that how that basket. all ended. Long time ago now. Five hours ago. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. <sighs> I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, <clears throat> I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! Oh, foreman great. Brothers, what are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've this been doing here. This bitch done went out and got a gun. What they're going to be doing <laughs> here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. Yes, ma'am. All right. Head for Rhodes. And Rhodes? She's in Rhodes? No. She's at a place called Radley's house. Just so we'll there. need to go to Rhodes. When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. Now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes. They probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. <clears throat> Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled All this cold. And with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. <laughs> See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. What about all of you fools? Some just require a firmer hand than others. You especially. Thank you. I swear half of you would just rot in your own filth if nobody kept you in check. Anyway, talking to folks disappear. Have you seen that boy Kieran since the party for Jack? Come to think of it, no. That could be another problem. Well, he'd be a real fool to turn on us now. But I can't imagine he'd last too long on his own. Still. Well, I'll get some eyes out. See if we can track him down. Okay, good. Let me know. All right. Let's go find that boy. Into. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Hey, hey. Whoa. What you want? Kind sir, we're lost and in need of some help. Oh, get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. But you don't mean nothing by well, I it. I said. You said your last word. Damn. What are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. <laughs> I did not find out yet, unfortunately. What the hell? What the hell you think you're doing? Ah! Where's that girl, 
Working on it. Oh, if they've laid a finger on her! Just chill. thought it's okay all right let's go oh come along miss thank you both of you what happened it was anthony foreman he thinks he owns me i remember where is he he went out hunting or something there were five of them i think well we killed those fellas there there they are come on tilly grab that gun anyone approaches shoot them oh don't worry i'll be just fine oh now yeah catch that bastard all right let's go do I not have any, uh, guns here? Bring them back alive. I ain't got one of them yet. All right, get after them. I'm working on it. There, straight ahead. I saw them go through those bushes. We're coming for you, you bastards. They're heading down the hill to the water. You crazy old ass. Quite sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. But okay, oh there's one. You picked the wrong girl. They think they're getting away. They got another thing coming. Alright, I think that last one's the boss. Last of women, we'll take him back to Tim. You're making a big Don't kill him yet. I want Tilly to have the last word on this bastard. Where'd he go? go oh, there he is. That bastard. Come on, get him, Arthur. Working on it. I promise you don't want a war with me. Come here, man. <clears throat> now make sure you tie him up real good. Uh. Bring that bastard back to Tilly so we can all have a nice little chat. Uh, I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. I'll take his horse. Comfortable enough for you? Yep, don't really care. Come on now. Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? Nope. I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Oh, this rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you going to do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You're wasting your time with that girl. She's a liar. She'll screw you over like she did me. I should have shot the bitch yesterday like I said I would. You just shut your mouth now, Anthony. I've heard enough. Son of a bitch. Uh... 
I'm just taking the railroad tracks, I guess. Uh, let me see where I'm actually going. How far away is this? Oh, that's not too bad. All right, let's go to there. All right, good. A road. All them deer. We got horse bonding. Go. Good. It's not my horse, but okay. Take it. Yeah, good girl. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, there's roads up there. Still alive then? I guess. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Where are you? Come on. Let's get you home. We'll be nice. Now get out of here. All right. Done. Good deal. What kind of horse is this? An Appaloosa. This is my temporary horse. Yeah, let's pat it. Hey, you're okay, girl. Mm -hmm. Brush a little bit. Okay. Okay, how much money do I have? We got a thousand bucks. It's not bad. Oh, you need to be brushed some more, sweetie? Okay. Feel better? Right, is there anything on your body that I need? No? Is there anything in this house that I need? There's a body in here I can loot. Sixty-two cents. Nothing. Billfold, coin purse, all right. Fifteen bucks, hey. Jewelry, 222. Earrings, yeah. Bison horn talisman, ooh. That's cool.
Rifle cartridges? Alright. Cigar gun oil is what that is. So there's the chest. Ain't nothing in there but some shells. Alright. Kinda like that jacket. Why can't I take that? Alright, I reckon we've done everything we need to do in here, I suppose. Maybe. That looks like a key or a chicken bone or something. Search cabinet. Biscuits. Nice. Coffee. Nice. Crackers. They have a grate over the well, so I guess you can't get water out of it. That's new. That's interesting, actually. Where am I? I'm over here in Rhodes. <clears throat> supposed to go back to roads I didn't think but let's see Jose what does Jose want and who's this Leopold Strauss and then we got Mary way over there what's the name of these missions money lending and other sins Let's go back here. Let's go back to camp. Talk about money and lending and other sins, maybe. Go to the saloon, though. Set a waypoint for it, and I'll see if I get chased out of town. What time is it? 1.13 p.m. Storm, too. Ah, crud. Get back on that horse. storm coming down Coming into town here, hopefully nobody gives us any problems. All I want to do is clean up a little bit, and I actually want to get my my guns worked on. I don't know if that's even a possibility here now that the dude is kind of like all dead. Creepified, but we're gonna try. There's a gun store. I can tie up my horse. Kitchen post up. Partner. The kitchen post is around the side of the building on this on this one here. Need 
to get my stuff worked on here. Well, thought I might have seen the last of you. All right, what do you want? I want to customize. Uh, can I just get these things cleaned, actually? Rouse catalog. Okay, now let me see. <clears throat> I need where's the index? Accessories. Listen, you won't take all day, will you? Shut up. Got everything. How do I not, uh... Okay, clean. There we go. That gun seems to be well taken care of. I could put some sights on that if you're interested. <sighs> I just want everything clean right now. If that gun ain't shining, glad you take care of what's yours. I'm quite skilled in customization. Make your munitions yours. Just get like everything clean. Good to see. All right, that one's clean. That gun seems nice. to be well taken care of. Looks clean like you're that taking one. care of that weapon. Good to see. Well, if that gun ain't shining, glad you take care of what's yours. Looks like you're taking care of that weapon. Good to see. That gun seems to be well taken care of. All right, I think we're done. Hunting knife, can I? Oh, I guess I can clean that. That could really shine with some carbon in it. It's fine, don't worry about it. Get a shower too. How do you do? Hey, how you doing? Come on down here, grab a shower around the corner. I, I'm looking for Gavin. Be my best friend. How do you do, sir? He left me. I lost him. I mean. I lost it. More Gavin again. Raiders fought Someone tooth and nail for this territory. Room. And here's you and just strolling through. <laughs> you ever been in the army? Hmm. Didn't think so. Around here is a dozen townsfolk offer to bury you just to keep my hands clean. Just minding my own business. Grumpy old fella. Howdy, partner. Howdy. You can hightail now. What is this man's problem? That's right. We don't answer to no one. Weirdo. What are you in the market for? Lodge. Oh, by us. You arranged his bath. A few washed. years back, some fella stumbled in here and shot a man dead. Right? Magnificent. Well, you'll feel renewed in no time. So over the 
Christmas winter storm already. You gotta go get groceries at Kroger and go to Home Depot for the things you attach to the gutters to keep water away from the house. Oh, man. Busy day. Bets in, please. Hello, <clears throat> Hello Mr. Game is over. Round's fixing to start. Oh. Looking forward to seeing what he got me. <clears throat> Good choice. Hmm. Ain't a woman here do a better job than me. If it gets cold on you, holler. You looking dandy real soon. Should be here between Thursday and Monday, it looks like. You'll be cleaned up in no time. Oh, look at this, though, really quick. Um, Let me know if it's too warm. Well. Might not even recognize yourself after this. looking dandy real soon. Interesting. Well, I don't know if he bought a kit or not. Hmm. Ain't a woman here do a better job than me. I have no idea what he bought. Let me know if it's too warm. Let's check on a couple. You'll be cleaned up in no time. All right, I'm working on um X. Real soon. Let's chat. Oh, I'm glad of this. It's been a hard few days. Oh, interesting. You must get some bad men in here. I know. Things get a bit crazy around here sometimes. It's cold on you, holler. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the... <sighs> you gotta treat yourself sometimes, I reckon. So That's for certain. Make sure you relax, sir. Rub me. I'm reading. Still a 
lot of tension. Didn't your parents warn you about talking to naked strangers? <laughs> Funny and handsome, hmm. Oh, so you me. must have a feller. You sure do ask a lot of questions. Mm, hey. Just relax. You know I'm gonna take care of you. I guess we're done here. All right, Let's that's go. perfect. Thanks. Goodbye now. I'll see you soon. So. All right, we still have enough money to buy that horse if we want it. I don't know though. That's a bus. I think we need to go and see Strauss or whatever that dude's name is. You uh are you my horse? I'm looking for my friend. Gavin. <laughs> Gavin. Tom, is it? Well, I guess it's time to spend the night. I'll spend the night. <laughs> Jesus. Whoops. Your Lodging room for a dollar. Can I get a room, please? Let's get all bets down. All right, over and in a room. Thank you. This Gavin thing again, man. In the bed, fool. Morning, 11 hours out of work. That's a little tiny bed for that big a man right there. There ain't no way he's fitting in that thing. His legs would be clean off the end of that thing. You ever heard of not? Well, I didn't mean to barge in. It's kind of happened that way. Okay. Let's get on out of here. Back for more? No. Not back for more. Just trying to leave. Hey, the very good morning to you. Hey, mister. Morning to you. Sir, good morning. Thanks, mister. Why is everybody leaving the bar in the morning? What's your problem? Hey, forgive me. All right, what to find, what to do, where to go. I need to find Strauss. It's Jose, I want to go see Strauss. <sighs> What's that? That's Rhodes. Waypoint the stranger. Can I waypoint the stranger? Go around the back of this place. Jeez. Somebody's up here behind town making a ruckus. Oh. Oh. Get a 
You're leaving me, huh? Sure. Yeah, we'll leave this there. <laughs> What you fools up to? It's Mr. Black's fault. His fault, the darky white. Well, I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean uh, off you. Come uh, on. And uh, I'll right. tall you, you lily livid. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's OK. You and for a darky. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had up to here with you. Enough. Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <clears throat> OK. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, I okay. love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! All right. Take down the posters and roads. So are they on here? Where, uh, and, uh, do we have the wanted post posters? I guess they're just gonna show up on the map. So we have to find wanted posters. Good morning, friend. Hello. Uh, is this open? Hmm. Long time no see. I see. Have a look. All for sale, except the floorboards. Everything except for the floorboards. There's a friend getting on with those new clothes. Fine. I'm open most days. All right, nice, nice, nice. But I would rather find these posters. That say. As bad as you made out there. Bad. They worse than worse. Hey, we're looking for one. some escapees. Got posters all over town. If you'd like to help. Mr. Lawman. Couple of fellers missing. Got posters up all over town. I see. Of a heart attack. Nonsense. And Samson Black was set up. Everyone knows Judge Amory took a bribe. You don't believe that, do you? Sure. And you call me a gossip? Anyway. All right, so I got four more posters to find. Morning, hello. Four more posters to find. Turn left. There's the mill office. Any posters over here? Let's try other place. There's no posters here. <clears throat> Let's go back into town. There's probably a poster over here on the saloon door. Mr. Black, Mr. White. Interesting. Retrieve mm -hmm. the poster from the bounty hunter. Oh, there's one over here too. Okay. Ask. Mister, I need that poster. There's been a recall. I weren't born yesterday. 
This one's mine, so you can go and get your own. Has anyone seen Gavin? Um. I need that poster, friend. I need that poster. What the hell are you doing? Turning into a bad day for you, Mr. You dirty bastard. Hey! Hey! Get this off of me! We're going for a walk. <laughs> now, I'm going to need that warning poster. Now, I'm just going to check your pockets. Thank you. Those boys was mine. I knew you was dirty. <clears throat> well, I'll know where to find you. This is going to be good. We can pick it. Nice. Sage. Nice. somebody damn you for that unfortunately he was going to tell somebody what was going to happen so I just had to make it so he couldn't. Well. Alright, so we were just headed over here to. We're just headed over here to the hotel. We're gonna pick up this poster. It's on the door over here, hopefully. Oh, I don't reckon I see one on that door. All right. We'll be on into town, see if anybody's got any posters for us. Oh, wait, this is the back side of town. We need to go into the front side of town. Yeah. Oh. Any posters here? See any posters? Die. I saw my friends die. My, I yeah, saw my yeah, friend. yeah. Okay. Oh, is that a poster? So don't you blame me nothing but your goddamn war. Come on now. now nope. I, I thought I 
Is there a poster over there? No. Where's all these posters supposed to be at? If they're all over town. Sides of the buildings? Uh, is it one of the train station? Uh, what's going on? Anybody need a ride? No. I want to know where these posters are. Hey, there is a poster. It's on the inside of this building here, apparently. Or maybe one of you guys has it. Sirs. Hey. You remind me of a feller I used to know. Right. Maybe it is inside then. Alright. I found one more. We got two more. You know, them bad men. Sure. Poster behind you. Would you move a little? <laughs> I will not. Deputy put up plenty. Go get one of those. Morning to you, amigo. Please, mister. I'll just reach by. It won't take but a second. I'm leaning on it. Find one that ain't in use. I'm tired of talking. How about we get back to you? Why did you make this difficult? Hey, move. I need that poster. Oh, I'll move, all right. How's this for moving? Oh you ain't God. the law, you know. Cut that man down. This what you wanted? Yeah. You're a dead man. All I wanted was this poster. Bounty hunting bastard. Hello? Can I have that? Say your prayers, you bastard! At least try no damn back. manners! Let's go outside of town if you want to handle this. We got a shallow grave all lined up for you! I could drop you with one hand behind my back. Let's go. Cool. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. hey. I'm through with you. Jesus, what a sight. Come on. Come on. off my hat too crazy old coop well now that we got him taken care of ain't been too many federals coming through 
Might have got some horse sense. May I have my hat back, please? Thank you. Now, back to that post that uh, we were discussing over here. Led him a pretty far away. Yeah, here it was. A very good morning to you. Alright. It's for him. How about we get back to One more. Here at the church. Though in truth, this man deserves no earthly respect from us, as a sign of respect to our Creator, we pay respect to the dead. Tell us, Jay, Father. Sir, we're in a moment of grief. Oh, okay. I gotta find. They have been showing up on the map pretty regularly. Oops. I've already been back through here though. <clears throat> Seems like I've been just about everywhere. Looking for these things. Like a decent town. Is that so? Well, good luck to you. You take care now. All right. So the poster is down here. Hey. No. I do beg your pardon. It's like this guy's got it. Wait. In here. Wait. No. Oh, it's on the post. Got it. Boom. Mission. Alright. Good. Five of five. Now. Turn to the guys with the posters. Where were they? I remember they were like over here someplace. They're kind of over in here somewhere. Let's set a temporary spot for over here. So yeah, I came down here and I came across railroad tracks. ran back up here in the woods, that's what it did. So 
was up in here somewhere. in town. Pretty hot. There's quite a price on you boys. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It was a murder? It was self-defense. And you killed a farmer? Well, firstly, I would have, but he died before I could. And secondly, well, he had it coming. He... I don't like to say. Well... Ain't no business of mine. Here's the posters. Thanks, partner. That's that. Man. Nice. That's that. Free at last. Free from you, at least. Well, not quite. No? We should wait a while first, see if anyone's on our trail. You're right. Too risky to play right now. All right. Feeling good. Done real good. <clears throat> Come back up here to the station. See. What do you do? Hello, sir. Hello there. What do we need to do. Alright, where am I at? I'm way over here. So we've got bounty hunting in Valentine. Charles and them are way over there. Investigate the commotion. And then Mary just wants to see me. Jose. Got something big going on. I want to see Strauss. Money lending and other scenes. Good side missions. And if I go back here, I can also go back to my camp. So we'll set a waypoint for there. Go out here. Hello. Hello. Excuse me. Away, please. Sorry. Hello. I need to buy a ticket to somewhere. Oh, hello. Been a while since you were around Mister? this way. Well, hello there. Uh, train tickets. I hadn't ridden on a train yet. I caught some reprobate. I don't want to buy a train ticket. It's a lot. Went straight to the law, of course. Where are we going? Bit of a journey. Bit of a journey. Why is it doing that? That's yeah, much more better. Alright. Come here, girl. Got to ride on back over to home. Too many federals coming through. Might have got some horse sense. Stop right where you are. What are you talking about? Hello. 
ride back into town. Can't stay out of trouble, can you? Just shoot the shackles. One bullet. That's all. Everyone deserves a second chance. Come on. Please. I can't believe it. Oh, I thought they were never coming off this time. Listen, buddy, I ain't got a red cent for you, and I feel terrible. But I did overhear something of interest. A fellow on the chain line jawed on about this little homestead owned by some lonely drunk. Yeah, it keeps a lot of money stacked away. Dead south of Rhodes, on the river. What? I look the type for all that, huh? That's up to you, friend. I'm good. I appreciate your help, though. We're gonna keep on going, though. <clears throat> This is a Bayou, Louisiana. Look at that. North Bayou NWA LE. That's got to be Louisiana. So what am I here to do? Levi Strauss. We'll talk to you. If that's whatever. If that's what his name is. Probably not. How have you been, Arthur? Oh, all right. Okay. You seem well, Reverend? Yes. Well, maybe. I've been okay before, but then I make a fool of myself again. <laughs> so do I. I went into town. So did I. If I was still a, a religious man, I'd say there are too many Catholics there, but I've, I've given up on all that. Mm. <laughs> Me too, Reverend. I met a monk there. Kindly fellow. Took me back to my days in college. Is there any purpose to this conversation, <laughs> Reverend? Not really. But he said the strangest things about all manner of bad things happening in town. Bad things happening in a city. <laughs> Who would have thought it possible? Well, maybe if you're there, you could have a chat with him. 
He's hanging about outside the marketplace, collecting alms for the poor. Sounds thrilling. All right, I've already talked to him once. But I'll talk to him again. What's this? <clears throat> More sage for poison stuff. Mr. Morgan. Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti? I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be ranchers. Perhaps, but um, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan. Will you help me finalize our business here? <coughs> this is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Uh, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algy Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And? That's it. We're a union built on that, you know. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so I got more objectives now from this guy. Over here by Braithwaite, say. Eh? Chalupa spew. Come on, girl. Where's my horse? I want my horse. My horse. Shut up. Yep. My other horse. You're good to see you. Okay, fella. Thank goodness. Alright, now we're going to go find this money. Trail up here somewhere. Oh. 
don't know why I insist on taking the trail. I can ride through the woods. It's okay. That's something pretty. Hold up. Hostels. Idiot. Well, we have hostels, but we have hostels. Deal with the debtors. Yep. What? There. Let's see the offers and stuff. Oh, bugs, hey. Nice. Let's go, boy. Can't get in there. It's gotta be down here somewhere. I think I see her.
Hey! You better have a damn good reason for being on my property, mister. I do. Remember that loan you took, Mr. Davison? Well, time's long since up. I'm here to collect. Oh, I should have known. You goddamn bludgeon men are all the same. Sure, sure, I got your money. Every stinking cent. It's in the house. Hell, I'll even offer you a drink. We can toast to never laying eyes on each other again. I like that. I like that a lot. I got a powerful thirst on me right now. How about you? You gotta be stinking drunk already to do this kind of work. Uh, I like doing it sober. You take my money, surely you take a drink off me as well. That would be the manly thing to do. Let's just handle the money first. Worry about manners later, okay? I could be fishing. You were catching flies, you weren't catching fish. Now come on. Let's get us that debt. Someone's here, boy. Pop. Wait, what's going on? Don't just stand there. Go fix us a drink. Another one, Pop? Don't give me no talk, boy. Just do it. I'll look down here for our savings. Savings? Under the sink? Best place for them. Shouldn't have turned your back on me, you parasite. Brother, man! Oh, my hat. I need that. <clears throat> Might be in there. No. Check this one. The cabinet. I want to get out of here, but I can't until I find some money. There's some in my footlocker. I I've been keeping it away from him. Ain't that lucky. I think I know the sum. And that should cover it. Ain't you the good son? should be proud of yourself. Good job. <laughs> Come on, Spew. Here we go. Time to go, boy. Coach robbery with Lenny. Alright, we're doing good. Um, man, do I want to go back there or not? Investigate the commotion. Yeah, 
I'm way down here. That breaks weight. So I'm gonna come on back here to Shade Bell. Again. Um. I like riding at night, but we will. Yeah. Holy cow. Okay. Come on, pal. Yep. Dumb horse ran into a tree. spot huh my horse collapsed now my legs stuck what does it look like i can't i can't get free please help me all right hold your horses oh sorry mm -hmm. that is not funny hold your horses that's funny that is funny Problem. Might have been stuck there forever. Oh, Moses. Poor baby. Poor Moses. Oh, I'm sorry. Would you like a ride home, man? Take you home. Oh, thank you. You're a good man. Could you take me to San Denis? It's far. I, I know. No problem. <sighs> All right. We'll just find a place to stay in San hey, Denis. Boy. Come on. <sighs> it's almost morning now. No, it's not. It's still nighttime. And your knee, let's go. That looks like a modern boat up there. Yeah. You're a real angel, you know? Two men gone by not long before you did and just kept yep. right on going. Yeah, that ain't much surprise. I don't know what I'll do now without my Moses. I've been saving for a month to go visit my father. Now we'll just be waiting on me. Ah, that's tough. But at least you're alive and walking. Sure your father will be happy about that. <laughs> I headed out this morning to see my father, but I heard some of those damn raiders off ahead and tore right through some thick brush. Poor Moses twisted his leg. We went on as long as we could, but he gave out right where you found me. He just weren't meant for that kind of riding, and I just got scared. Sure. Sounds like you did the right thing, even if it cost. Guess I'm lucky my leg didn't break in the fall. My cousin Lucy broke her arm. They did her up in plaster of Paris. You don't say. One night, some real fancy-looking feller got curious about that plaster cast, said he wanted to know what it felt like. Guess he got too curious. Poor Lucy was hollering all night. Her arm never did heal straight. Oh no. Anyway, uh, glad my leg ain't broke is all. Sorry, I'm, why are you riding like this? Well, that's all right, ma'am. You're safe now. Be 
keep talking. Tell me stories. It's fun. Yeah. We're going a long way. Moses. Going to get eaten by birds. Yeah. That was a long ride, but it wasn't that bad. What time is it? Uh, it is pretty round here. Two hour rod in game. Oh, that's two hours in game. Two minutes. You familiar with San Denis at all? I'm over on the eastern side. Head toward the big cemetery. Hmm. Back to the cemetery, eh? Look at all this. They say this is what the future looks like, and I say it's filthy. You know, I like to watch the boats sometimes, but. There stinks from them towers. Yep. Guess I should get used to it if it's the future and all. Not a future I want any part in. Me neither, mister, but what can we do? We just two people. I lose in the cobblestone streets. Ain't it pretty around here? Mansion district. Feels like a different world. I tell my father, someday we're all gonna live here. He laughs at that. <laughs> all these buildings and new ones every day. Can't imagine what it's like living this fancy. Looking up in a house that big. Imagine having all that money in your pocket. Trust me, ain't all it's cracked up to be. If you say so, mister. Too sensitive. Looks like home. Mm. We're close now. Thank you. I really love that horse. Oh, sorry Maybe. about your horse there. You like carrots, you know? He'd eat him right out of my palm. Yeah. Most horses he knew me do. by the sound of my voice, he did. It's always hard losing a good animal. Please, let's go. I'm, I'm doing that for you right now. We're here. I'd still be stuck there if not for you. I Thank know. Thank you again. Just glad I found you. You really don't. Well, thank you. Drink myself sleep. I mean, it was four hours of my time. So. Could go up there and find some strangers. Fatherhood and other dreams. Brother out. Well, let's set a waypoint for Mary and see what she wants.
Okay. So, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. Okay. What are you two looking at? Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Uh, oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but, but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... Than, than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and horn and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur... Be kind to me. Please. I'm sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. <laughs> a lot. It, it all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? <sighs> yes. Come along, Dan. Yes, I will. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur, you know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well... I don't know. So what do you think he's up to? I'm Oy. not sure. Cowboy. He keeps saying it's a disgrace. How you doing? Standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. Hmm. He wasn't always this way. But it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Pawning things off left and right. Mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Well, don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. Look at that. The Saint, uh, Saint Denis Time, Times Tribune. It's all lit up. Good evening, uh, and then nice to meet you. Welcome to the stream. Hope you've had a wonderful whatever time of day this is for you. Uh, Mic check. Two. It's a beautiful little town. Unfortunately, it's not very friendly. People are too sensitive here. The stable. Oh. This is the place. Let me 
go in and see what kind of a state he's in. All right. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very mm -hmm. funny. I gotta pop my back. I got a feeling this is gonna go bad. You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on a lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. And make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. I've never been so demeaned in my life. Apology accepted. Oh, my own wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired. I and have no unwell. such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Okay. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. <sighs> really? This way. He went around the corner. No shit. Think. Wait, Arthur. Any closer and he'll spot us. Not that way. Hold on. You can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. I don't know what any of that means. So uh, let's try English next time. English sounds great. We'll just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. Come here, huh. quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk oh, no. clean off your face. <laughs> oh no. Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! He's heading across the road. You know, okay. this is kind of fun. Shh, he'll hear you. Could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. He just went left down that alleyway. Uh, What's he yeah. Doing? I don't know. Let's go find out. That's what we're doing here. We're chasing this feller. Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Mm. Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Hey, hey, hey. Yes. <laughs> What's up, Theo? Yeah. Go to bed. <laughs> You're off to bed. <laughs> Here's the money. I'm probably going to end pretty soon. Probably after this mission. <laughs> mm. That is How beautiful. you doing, man? Good evening. Family heirloom. That was mother's approach. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. 
I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not I'm his to sell. No, it's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself Come killed. You don't understand. Nice mother left it to me. You <laughs> sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. Oh, boy. Hey, you, Ashton, hold her right there. my horse. Of their horses, maybe? Outside of their horse. Bots are out wild. Yeah. I've got a few of them in mind. I've got some actual trolls too. It's been kind of fun. Watch me. I bought that brooch fair and square. Yeah, well, I need it back. See, that's the problem. Where are you taking me? To a secluded location, friend. Out here in the middle of the bayou. Yeah. It's definitely been, uh... It's been, uh, very... Popular. It's been cool. Lay a, um, lay a finger on me and you'll be sorry. Shut your ass up. Get out of there. Yeah, some good, some bad. I've had some really, really awesome people stop by. Really helpful people. I've had uh, one of them from Denmark. We chatted for a little while. Like, actual on Discord. It was really cool. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. Yo, what's up, man? Appreciate you. I want to buy the brooch. Here. Yeah, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. 
You don't know who you're messing How with. bad of a delay am I on, I wonder? 3.55. What time is it for you when you hear this? Taking into consideration the uh, time difference, you know. Damn. Out of range. Well... Three fifty-five. All right, so it's not much of a delay. Can I take this back into town? Nice. On your PS Five, you just play some on your PS Five. <coughs> well, I am probably going to end after I get to a stopping point right after this. So. Right on. I appreciate y'all hanging out all night. This has been fun. Y'all have had a blast. Where's your father? I don't know. Joe! Hey, we'll find him again? If you're still here. Not really. I forgot. I'll save it for tomorrow, though, if you'd rather. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Yeah. Got you your brooch back. I won't ask. <laughs> Probably the best. Not. Hey. What are you doing now? Right this moment. Why'd you ask? <laughs> yep. Well, I was... I sure am. ...wondering if you wanted to do something. Just you, sweetheart. Head to the theater, perhaps. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll go see a movie. That, that'll work. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's go see a movie. Theater? Me? All right. Sure, why not? It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest nice, acts. Cowboy. Awesome. <laughs> strangest I can have. I'll be here for uh, hours. Business of life. I Coming up on seven right now for today. You and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. Once in my brain. Not a very life. nice woman, Mrs. <laughs> Lamb. Well, look at the company I keep. I know it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> a magic show. Is that what this is? Sort of beautiful, in a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that. I... I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on, let's go find our seats. Okay, we're gonna go find our seats. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. Okay. <clears throat> Welcome! <laughs> and thank you for that thunderous applause. I'm Aldridge T. Abington, the greatest assembler we of entertainment more. since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality just as a proprietor or Are you in of a the rush, greatest Arthur? show ever mm. assembled. Prepare for the grandest excitement of your curiosity. Fire! Snakes and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. Mm. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. This now, so ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky! Okay.
for joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called Saint Denis. This is good. I'm liking this. Pretty young thing say come with me in the parlors and brothers of Sam Dunny. The porter was drinking and the whistle just blew. The trains are heading to the land of voodoo. You won't sleep a wink, I can guarantee. Let's go drinking down in Sam Dunny. Oh, it's fake. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Hazards of watching the stream. Most excellent. Yes, most excellent. Sing it again, sweetheart. <laughs> See you, Theo. <laughs> Have a wonderful day, man. I assure you, she can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. <laughs> Your mother most likely told you not to play with fire or to spend time in the company of strange women. You are about to do both. <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sanservino. Oh, yeah? Ooh. Stop it. neat This is very entertaining, but I mean, I kind of would like to move along.
Okay. I want to see the next one, but how long is this going to take? Leave, you're tired too. I think there might be one more act. I'm not sure. She hadn't even breathed fire yet. This is the best. Oh, wait. Now she breathed on fire. This lady just breathed on fire. What a letdown. I mean, it was a free show. Yeah, do it. Oh, enchanting, mesmerizing. She is truly one to bring home to mother. <laughs> it is said that there is a place in France where the naked ladies dance. I have been there. Prepare for the body braziers of the Petit Flaneur in Gay Paris. Oh, really? Take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but shame we couldn't stay longer. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I should have stayed. My life wasn't supposed to. Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. Anyone close to me, well, they wanted to, and I can't have you wrapped up in there. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. I want to. More than anything, I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. But once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're going to run away anywhere, we'd need money. And soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. But I will, once I get some money. I had some. But then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. Yeah. Poor girl. Save game. Nice. <clears throat> so that means it's time for us to call it an evening. I do believe. Let me uh, quit out of this game. Yeah.
do here. So I can learn how to operate the map. One night. Tomorrow. One. All right. So, yeah, tomorrow night I will see you all again, uh, hopefully. And if not, I'll see you all the next time I do see you. And it's been fun hanging out. Take care. Yeah. Bye, cowboy. Everybody lurking. Have a great night. Bye.